Hello everyone and welcome back to the Four Pillars podcast reunion. We're all here today, all four. Uh, that is true. We're not all here, are we? We're not all here because George is gone again. This is just, we're living in a nightmare. We're living in a nightmare. That's God, so fucking funny. take me now. Take it me just... now, God. When will it end? <laughs> when I will it what, end? I wonder what happened on George's end there. I will. Okay. <laughs> We've been trying to record this <laughs> for nice. so long. Can you hear me now? George... Yeah, we can hear yeah, you now, yeah, yeah, wanker. Fuck me, what happened, man. George? I don't know. <laughs> My microphone just apparently. St- I don't even know it stopped. Is your recording going? <laughs> yeah, it's still going. Okay, well, we're going to keep that in. We're, we're going to keep still... that. That's our intro. <laughs> that's, that, that's I the can summer see thing. the audio. Yeah, that's the, it. The audio is yeah. still working. Oh. For those that don't know, it is the 10-year um, anniversary this week of what ended up becoming the Four Pillars community that started from a stream that was called Damn. Kill Connor Club that became the As Always podcast that you know connected all our channels from Ethan commenting a million times on our videos to being like who the fuck is this guy making this thing called swog and then oh, classic then ethan became a, a mega channel and you know i'm not sure about george a mega channel, but i don't know I it's pretty big making pretty f- I, I i got my act together and that's kind of it yeah and I'm- this week we want to do a bunch of content um, and start with the Four Pillars podcast. We've got a Clubhouse and James' Patreon. We've got, of course, to finish off with the As Always podcast 10-year episode. So we've got, and some other things here and there this week. So, you know, stay tuned um, to, you know, the channels, our socials, all that sort of stuff. Twitter, X, you can't call it X. No, oh, a bit of X. And active bit every X. day. Fucking yeah, X. what did you say last podcast? It's so like, fucking you X. actively every day try to say Twitter. I, I I just instinctively still call it Twitter, you know. I look at it and I go, ah, oh, X is never Twitter. catching on. Right, my and microphone and keeps disconnecting Twitter, randomly. It's always what was formerly Twitter? Yeah. Oh, George, it, it might, your well, mic George does keep still disconnecting, mate. Yeah, he's yeah. Still George, issues. George, you're going to have to be managing that, I think. That's yeah, really funny. I may have funny. to just uh, switch back you, to this. On you my, may have on yeah, the mate, just switch. Yeah, as long as we that. can hear, do we don't mind. Okay. Whatever, you're, as long as yeah, you're recording right. your good mic, <laughs> okay. we don't mind hearing your sound, mate. Recording, <laughs> is your audio sh- certainly recording on OBS? Otherwise, yeah, I can see I the will, levels going. Otherwise, up on I my will microphone. be driving down to Northampton <laughs> with a hammer. <laughs> I don't blame <laughs> you. Throw a brick Please. through my window. Oh, God. oh, I'm not going to be throwing a brick through your window. I won't give you that much warning. <laughs> just set my oh, set my house alight with me inside of it. No, um, I'm more specific than that. The hammer will be just fine. <laughs> God, what's the hammer going to be used for? I'm going to oh, board God. my door up so I can't leave my house. It's a... From the <laughs> yeah, outside. Man, that's what he meant. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't hit me with a blunt instrument, would you? you? Figured out what I'm going to do with me. the hammer. Well done. <laughs> Oh my god. What is going on? <laughs> this is... Right. Sword with a hammer. <laughs> this is <laughs> classic <laughs> Four Pillars Chaos. As well. I have a wife and kids <laughs> exactly and family... <laughs> Yeah. Oh, oh my god, god, right. But um we're oh. here, we're back. We only did a five reunion years. a couple of months ago. Our five to be fair, people were very I was shocked by the reaction to the last episode. You know, people were very happy to see us and you know, it was Ooh. nice to bring some some joy yeah, to I people. Everyone and... hated us, so that was a nice Same surprise. here, man. Well, I, I certainly like, thought they nice. hated you, but I wasn't oh, sure about uh, the rest of us. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I was yeah. just grouping us together, so I felt a bit more <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. surrounded alone. by friends there. Thanks for that one. Less um, alone yeah. in your sadness. That'll add to the building anxiety. Yeah, um, well, hopefully. The futility of my fair. own existence. I appreciate Wait, it. Do you, yeah. do you get anxious every time you're about to publish something? Like, fuck. Like, it's up there yes. and you're like, oh, yes. no, I've got to publish it. Do you really? It. Hate it. Y- yeah, I you hate enjoy it. working on it so much, and then you realise <clears> at some point you've got to end the video. And when you've done that and you're rendering it, you sit there and you get this sinking feeling of, yeah, shit. Of like, man, now I've got to <laughs> now I've got to share it with people. Now and they yeah, might show be people, mean to me. They see it they in their recommended, and they're like, "What the fuck is this shit?" Or yeah. they, I just like I'm imagining it. people people seeing it pop up and being like, "What the fuck is this?" I didn't subscribe to this guy, and then unsubscribing from my channel. Yeah, um, like, because oh, I do that isn't sometimes. That, isn't that <laughs> good though? Isn't that a good thing? I mean, I suppose. I guess it technically is. Yeah. Yeah, because the yeah. subscriber yeah. count means absolutely nothing. I mean, I know it's true, true. Yeah. to say, but. Yeah. 
It, it, it does. <laughs> it, is a, it, it, is, it is a meaningless <laughs> statement. It, yeah, it is. Sure. It like, is. I, I've said this for years. It's like... There. I've said, like I've always said, if if like I wish that I could cut my subscriber count down to what it like realistically is in terms of viewers. Oh, I, I hate seeing the big number because it just doesn't I, reflect properly. I like seeing the big number because at four hundred thousand, I decapitated a caterpillar cake that said four hundred on it. It was quite. Oh, that is, yeah, that, Colin yeah, the caterpillar. What a nice guy. Yeah, well, was, J- James, I wouldn't, Colin, I wouldn't wish uh, that Cuthbert. though, James. I oh wish shit! That subscriber count to be cut man. from Aldi because it'll be like why, seven, you know. You know, you don't want do you not want to do your... Do you I can't hear Tyler. I think he's just gone really weird. quiet. I can't, I, he sounded like he was fading into a cave. <laughs> no. I, mean, I, I just want to see that subscriber just, count go down, mate. I just don't, I just don't think you should want it to be cut because then it'll, you know, it'll say seven, you know? Uh, <laughs> I've been had there. You know what I've had. Had. You don't want that, do you? But at least seven the audience retention will be through well, the roof. Yeah, That's true. That's true. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, I just thought you might stick roof, with the big number so if I was, personally, if I was you. Yeah. <clears throat> but it didn't work as well because that, you said what? And then it's like, well, fuck me then, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's not as funny. That's not as funny. This is, is a great podcast. Funny. Yeah, well, it's just great friends. I think Skype's gotten worse. I think there's a huge delay. I and think, also, everyone's I think Skype's fading just not it maintaining out. itself. Am I yeah. Well, I don't, think anyone, I don't think anyone's used Skype in about... 25 years except us uh, 25 I know, one, I know one other person who uses skype for anything who is, who is it no there's nobody any of you know oh, <laughs> oh, right. oh okay okay, okay. It's, we it's thought you were doing very, a bit <laughs> somebody who's very much so like me really realistic yeah, that right. sort of sense of humor but he uses skype for things and i go why are you doing that he uses yeah, Skype for the bit. That's that's why it he was does the it. perfect moment for like a your mum joke or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> he uses Skype. Skype. <laughs> your mum doesn't use Skype. She uses like an old-fashioned landline type. Yo, mama, oh, so old, man. she still uses Skype. It's <laughs> 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 like, so oh, hot in my office already. It's I bet it's horrendous. not. I bet it's it sub zero. Is. I bet it's you know what? so cold. I could go get a thermometer and we'll find out what it is in here yeah, you know what it's super you know, cool you know it's... what i've got a different perspective on heat for for the time being anyway what because does that mean? why is that when, when i'd left the country fleeing hmrc and all that avoiding my taxes for, for a couple <laughs> of days um yeah it was boiling hot over over in over in berlin for a couple of days and then i came back and it was pissing it down with rain 18 degrees celsius and i went you know what this oh. is great i was mm. stood oh, there in good. pouring rain going finally i'm back Back home, and and Back since in then old I haven't felt the heat, and it's not been that hot, to be fair. It's not, but that's really because that I live in the old Manchester, so so it's always it's always a bit <laughs> miserable and rainy. Yeah, it's mm. yeah. I it mean, like I returned nice to England home. the other day Sorry, on Friday, and. Like compared to Venice, fuck me! I was so glad to be back in England. It's so. Well, hot how over hot there. was it in uh, Venice? Yeah, like 30, tell us. 33, 34 degrees every day. Yeah, it was. And it'd be, and it'd be, Berlin you know, with all that, the, yeah. with all the, the rain and 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 obviously all the water, it, it's it's quite a. It's humid. It's it's humid, but it's like Venice smells a little bit like. It can it's do. Just, yeah, oh, it it's can. got a little scent to it. It's you know? got, yeah. no, it's it's got like one of those places with a unique smell, has it? It does. It it's a unique bad. smell. That's a good way to put it. Yeah, yeah, it's not as bad as sense. everyone says it is. When everyone goes, oh, it I agree. It smells like piss and shit in Venice. It's like, no, it yeah. doesn't. Not all the time. It it's just certain like canals piss. do smell like like fucking rotting something. I don't know what it is, but you like pass certain bridges and you're like, God, that stinks. What it's is it with us? Because the guards got assassinated over it. <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 yeah, that, that is an interesting one. Oh, man. Sorry, you think go on, go on. What is it with our choices in holiday destinations and smelling like a sewer? Because that's exactly the same issue Berlin has. Oh god, no. Really? Oh, it, god. Why? It, it's not. It's not. It's not horrible. I mean, I mean, delicious sewage. But it, Ooh. it's a bit. It's, it's, it's. You can smell it just about. It's got. It creates this unique metallic sort of scent. Oh, it and smells gorgeous. It's to die for that. Yeah, it's a delicacy. Eat it um, all up. <laughs> it's a delicacy. Lovely <laughs> metal. <laughs> lovely, lovely. It's metallic, metallic turds. It's Love metallic it. turds it. to be specific. 
Um, <laughs> oh. No, but I was warned about this smell before I went the first time. It was like, yeah, it's yeah. got a very unique smell to it. Um, you'll know what mm -hmm. I mean when you go. Um, and that was kind of apparently the sewer. I don't, I don't know if that's oh, meant to be the case, but it definitely smelled like it. I'd never smelled stonking. anything quite like it. It was ponging, some would even say. Mm. Some would. It's a good word. It was so, nice. so it was a lovely the, journey. Yeah, so so George, tell us, uh, you were just in Venice. I was. Um, yeah, was it you and your lovely girlfriend? Was that, was that, no, was it a romantic it was me and my trip? mate. No, it wasn't. It was me and my mate. Bullshit! Me and my mate oh my god. <laughs> she was in Zambia. My girlfriend was in Zambia, in Africa, for two weeks. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I went to Venice. Was, was she like, what romantic... the fuck, bro? You didn't no. take me to Venice? No, because last year I went on a lovely romantic one, you know, two-man two holiday with the same guy last year to Florence. So... <laughs> Is she not starting so, to question this? Is she not, like, no. when are you going to take me on a nice holiday? Yeah, we are, we are we are planning holidays, but yeah, it was um, yeah. She was in Zambia for two weeks. I couldn't really do anything there. I saw you with I will like, take you know, her somewhere. dinners with wine and pizza, wine and pasta. Yeah. And I was like, oh, <laughs> yeah. that's so beautiful. I just hope George have a great time with his girlfriend. Like, it's so nice. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> that's really funny. Nah, mate. Just me and a boy. Oh, yeah. Just guys yeah, being I, I, dudes. I was quite certain you were there with a mate because I saw a picture yeah. you posted on your story with your mate across the table. <laughs> yeah, that's true. As yeah, you're about to true. tuck into some pizza. Oh, I must have, I must have my, that. My white some observational male friend. Skills, Tyler. <laughs> they help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They help a lot. <laughs> oh, I just assumed. I didn't even like oh. register. Trust me. Trust me. He, you may still be correct, just not quite the way you were hoping. It was yes, just, no, it was a random true. Italian bloke. <laughs> there was I was, I was having dinner with a random Italian bloke that week. Yeah, oh, God. that was that's, that's what, what the smell so was. <laughs> 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 That's fucking gnarly. It's awful. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but yeah, oh, a lovely. Um, what, did, what did you do in Venice then, George? We we did lots of things. Assassinate Kyla Grimaldi. Yeah, yeah, mate. Here we go. Here Went we to go. the I'm fucking. Um, like two myself. Assassin's Creed references in here. <laughs> I am going to jump out that window. It's not very I, far, but if I go head first, I'll have half into a, a bale of hay. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <fuck. laughs> no, he's doing a pass through. Make sure you hold <laughs> LB, otherwise you won't get out the window. <laughs> oh God, no! <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! The brain rot. This is I, a, I can... This is Ethan's thirteenth reason why. <laughs> I have, I have, why? Why? Why stop at thirteen? I have about yeah. two hundred and fifty-six at this point. <laughs> Yeah, and all yeah. of them are James mentioning oh, Assassin's same. Creed. <laughs> <laughs> same. Yeah. Oh, oh save, God. save for one, that's probably just because funny. But oh man, <laughs> I oh man, oh God, I just, Assassin's Creed will just never die. I don't know what to do with you guys, honestly. The jokes, yeah. the jokes can't. The, yeah. the jokes can't did because... did any of you play that last one? The because one came no. out. Oh, Mirage. Yes. Yeah, mirage. No. Some might say no. it was a mirage in of itself. Oh, oh it was. It was a dev's line <laughs> to was, us, wasn't it? Was it? A fun, yeah. It's a funkily named um, title, isn't it? When you think about yes. it, when I mean, you think about where Ubisoft was going with it, it's like, oh, that, that's a silly named title. Well, well, I, 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 I would, I would be someone that knows funny. myself. Ethan, did you play it? <laughs> no. So no one played it. That's interesting. No, no. I mean, I tr I mean, I tried, and then I thought to myself, what you the tried. Fuck am I what does that I mean? mean? I I mean, I tried. And then I you thought, fell Fuck over. That. No, no, I fell over and thought, you know what? I'd rather do literally anything else and then do anything else. So, so it is what yeah. it is. Yeah, I'd rather shit in a cup and lick it. It wasn't. It wasn't my <laughs> cup of tea. You can't say I, I that. George. Shit. Mirage is really good. It's a return to roots. You're oh, just that's hating. True. I'm sorry. It's got that. It's got that acre uh, filter. It isn't that the blue I, filter. I just think, yeah, grey blue just think, filter over the screen. I, I just think by. Um, I don't even care if it's good or bad. I think. I think with me, it's just. I've moved on. I'm over it. Yeah, um, no, neither. I don't yeah. care. I, yeah, don't I don't care, care enough yeah. about it. I don't, I don't have a rule against going to it and saying, "Oh, I'll give it a go, see how it is." No, I yeah. don't care. I, I just, yeah. I've just moved yeah. on to other things. For sure, for yeah. sure. That's it's not where out my of content like content is taken. Yeah, it's yeah. not like out of spite. I'm not like, I'm not like, oh, oh it's not man, spite. I just, it's... it's so bad. I hate it so much. I can't. Like, I'm, I'm just, sure. I'm just, I'm just not playing it out of protest. I just, I literally don't care. I cannot press the install button. Wait for it to mm -hmm. install, load it. Like it's just not worth my time. I just don't care. Yeah. Like it's, it's like with any even... other game that I just wouldn't play. You know, it's not even a worth I just don't the care time about thing. It. It's just, it's just I go right. Okay, this is 
it's it's I'm sure it's a perfectly serviceable game if you play it for more than five minutes. But yeah, people seem I to just love can't, it. To be honest, I just I, I I just don't really I don't know. I mean, I've like I said, I tried and failed. I just wanted to do something else, and that that's what I, that's what I wound up doing. Um, yeah. And obviously, with what I do for content, what 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 gets me views has nothing to do with what used to. Um, so True. obviously, yeah. the vast majority of my growth has come post Assassin's Creed, or at least when I was looking beyond it. Um, mm-hmm. So it's not it's not a big deal to me. Uh, mm. But no, it's just it's just I don't have any rules against it. I just think to myself, I I, I don't know. It's, I just I just don't think I enjoy um, that that caliber of game anymore at least not from a yeah, right. contemporary at least from a not from a contemporary perspective mm-hmm. um i mean i, I in, still enjoy the old ones yeah yeah, yeah. every yeah, now and then sure. i don't play yeah. them very often but when i do i go oh this is nice um yeah, yeah but yeah. but it's one of those I, I i'm looking forwards rather than backwards if that makes sense yeah Ooh. yeah anyway <laughs> my, i think i think my uh i think my um my Cheeseburger is about to arrive. So oh I'm going to go. All right. Who are you, me? <laughs> Mike, he's ordering a Macca's on the podcast. You got, you got a hot fudge sundae in there, Mike. Mike. I've got a fellow named uh, Saeed. He's about to deliver a cheeseburger to me. Legend. To to oh, we love him. So we I'm going to go don't say, what's happening, Saeed? How you doing, mate? Are you having a good, good time? Um, have a, have a, I like yes. to have a chinwag. I like to have a chinwag with delivery drivers. They look at me funny, but it, it's yeah. worth it. They look at you like, I need <laughs> fucking un- go, mate. I don't know how he is. I'm gonna go deal with that. Right, back right in a minute. sweet. Enjoy. No worries, mate. Um, I'll see you in a sec. Very neat thing to uh, to be ordering yeah. a Mac. It's on the it podcast. Is, it is. It Let's really is. Back some old, old memories. Old memories. For real. Yeah. yeah. Bud House. Yeah. Oh. Well, Four Pillars oh. podcast. Um, I mean, since the last time we did an episode, I mean, this has been a really short sort of break. But, um, James, what's what's sort of been going on for you since that? Well, it wasn't a week. It's what three three weeks? weeks ago, four weeks what? ago. By the time this came, out. dude, what, well, it dick? came. In, oh no, it came. No, it was longer than that. We recorded it, but it was, it was the start of oh. July when we recorded it. I feel like, Damn, but it only came out three. Ago. But it only came out three weeks ago, or it was the end of oh. June, last week of June, start of July. Oh. So even though it came out only a few weeks ago, we yeah, it's probably. Like, Almost two months ago, by the time this comes out. Mm. Crikey, anyway, Riley. George, you, you... I return with burger. Oh, welcome back. Burger. Amazing. Back. Um, don't forget that you ate it, though. Um, George. <laughs> um... I've already forgotten to eat it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so George, was there any any stories, though, before before you get James George, any stories from Venice? From um... Venice. Uh, the, uh, the only story I have is one time... This isn't even a fucking story. <laughs> we were in a restaurant, and um, yeah, it's an anecdote. And we were ordering a bottle of Chianti, some nice, nice uh, yeah. red wine from yeah. Tuscany. And then my mate was like, "Can I get a bottle of Chianti?" And the the waiter looked at him and went, "Bottle of Chianti," <laughs> in an English accent. <laughs> <laughs> like, like taking the piss out of our accent. Did you make it funny? That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. right. Oh, it was great. It was great. That's uh, good. Yeah, there Jeez, were lots of dashens, lots of dashens in Venice for some reason. <laughs> Sausage um, yeah. dogs, really? Yeah, yeah, tons of them, tons of them, just running about. I'd have they expected to it. see like chihuahuas and things. Yeah, there were lots of small dogs. Very, not very many. I, big I feel dogs. like those dogs are just really popular at the moment. I feel like I see them fucking everywhere. Here. Yeah, it's the yeah, psyop. True. It's the Dashan psyop. They're trying to. Yeah, trying yeah. To I don't. I'm not a big fan. Society. They're cool. I'm, I'm not a I big love fan them, of them. Mate. Actually, I think they're Do fucking you? hilarious. Personally, a big dog yeah. man. So. Yeah, I like, do prefer I, big I, dogs. Yeah, so, I, yeah, I don't like. They're cute and all, but like. Teague's, she really wants one. Like, that's one she just loves him. And I'm like, there's zero yeah. chance we're not getting a She's fucking dash. And... They're not yeah, no, practical not doing, dogs. Like, you can't take I want, them on a big I want an Aussie height, Shepherd. You know. That's what I want. Oh, you've got to get it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've been thinking about an Aussie, like an Aussie Shepherd cross poodle. They're beautiful too. Or, or a um, water color cross poodle. They're just, yeah, gorgeous dogs. Just so they don't shed yeah. hair. A bit smaller. Can mm. be inside, you know. Bit of a mix. That's but either way, like, those are the sorts of dogs I want. You know, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I think it would suit me better. I think I'd fucking dash into. Definitely. Yeah, I'm definitely just be fucking a bigger dog person dog. myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, 
I yeah. mean, I was a massive dog person, if I'm being honest. If you remember, <coughs> yeah. if you remember that's true. that mighty monster. None of you actually Big met Big old him. Dennis. Yeah, true. That's true. It was fucking I feel like huge. I did, though. But it was fucking yeah. huge. Lovely yeah. big boy. Like, was there's, he, a, there's no... was he Bernie's mountain dog? Or... Yeah, Bernie's mountain dog. He was huge. Yeah, he was beautiful. Yeah. Gorgeous lad. Oh, dog of, dog of, of yeah. wisdom. The thing oh, is, they yeah, didn't take up any space. Boy. That's What I like about big dogs is they don't take up that much space. They're, they're sort of more in touch with the fact that you need to be somewhere so they'll move. You can fit Whereas a small pocket. dog does not care if it's in the way. Yeah, it's like yeah. a step yeah, over true. me. Bro. Oh my god. That's a good point. They're like yeah, little rats. Because they're, they're just <laughs> under you. <laughs> yeah, they're just always yeah, like lurking rats. somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's true. It's a good point. Especially a fucking sausage yeah. dog. Just and that's why we just, hate Dashing. They're too close to the ground. It's more there. It's just more that they they're really anxious dogs, and like if you leave them at home, they'll just fucking howl and whinge and cry and shit, yeah. and piss everywhere. Fucking it's just, woke like, dog. <laughs> I'm not doing. You'll that. find that to be you'll find that to be quite the norm for those <clears throat> puppies. Puppies, yes, but I'm talking about full grown sausage dogs. That depends on how you train it. Sausage dog won't care if you train it right. Yeah, well, fine. that's not exactly little, true, is it? Because they do have temperaments. Though. Like, yeah, they some dogs are just more inclined. Yeah, but that's not as that. that's not as broad and ex- as expansive as it sounds. Some can be more prone to. Doesn't mean they will be. No, it doesn't. But it's not. It's not. Look, it's not a risk I'm willing to take. You know, it's not um, a risk at all. It's a fucking sausage dog. It's not gonna rip your face off. Well, I'm not. I'm not worried about well, no, dying. It's, it's the Am risk I? of the dog ending <laughs> yeah. up having anxiety issues. Fucking, right? yeah. Well, James, you're just worried about dying 24 seven. You're in a waking yeah. nightmare. I'm, just I, I'm worried the opposite. To be honest, that I won't be dead. You know. Yeah. You every day, James wakes up just like ah! like you know, <laughs> yeah. just screams. Well, so, so do you wake up <laughs> and Sora oh, staring at you? Do you wake up and Sora staring at you like you? Your time so, has on come. occasion. To be fair, on occasion. Mm. No, he's too busy me the kind of dog the with a stare. The no, he is the kind <coughs> of dog with a stare. I know that. He does. He stares. He he will just stare. Also, he he's like he's because he's so fucking quiet. He he creeps up on you all the time, and he'll he'll just be right behind you. It's quite scary, actually. He's a spooky <laughs> guy. I'm going, he's stealthy. Exactly. Yeah. Oh yeah, like an assassin. And oh, he's Japanese, you had so to maybe he's bloody say. Oh, he is. Yeah, yeah he is. Oh he's Yasuke. All I, remember oh, about my <laughs> All I remember with my inter- oh, about my interactions with Sora is he w- just barked at me a lot. He does his little meow. <laughs> his little meow. Yeah, he does do his he's, 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 He sheds too much for me, bro. And just, yeah, it's a no, he does. It's a no for like me. Like three times a year, he just sheds the house. is covered yeah. in fur. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, yeah, you, you the showed me. About and, him. Yeah, yeah, I'm just, yeah, it's, not, it's tough, hey? Yeah, that's that's the worst thing. <coughs> Other than that, he's also in constant solid. battles with Oscar when he comes around my yeah, house. Yeah, that is true. That is because Oscar's like a little fucker though. Yeah, he is a bit of a fucker. I'm glad when Sora puts him in his place because he's a little bitch. Oscar's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I fuck his shit up. <laughs> oh my god! And how's uh, and how's uh, Oscar and Hudson doing then? I'm now They're fine. The They're fine. They just bark a lot. To the point oh, where like, my, parents, my parents had a bit of an argument with our neighbours a few weeks ago. Because oh, the they? Dogs Are they the same neighbours so that complained about us making noise in the backyard? Uh, maybe no, it was. No, different. No, okay, no it's different, different right. neighbours, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there was a bit of, bit of, a, bit of an argument over the fence going on. And he was oh, like, really? Oh, yeah, them bloody dog shit. You better should bloody train them. Oh, to be like, fair, oh. not completely wrong. Oh, yeah, no, no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, he's right, he's right, he's right. And my mum was also yeah. like, yeah, like, you know, the dog barking is super annoying. But then he so also went to this... an argument then? It was one of those arguments when, where, like, the other party's mad, one party gets mad, the other party gets mad as well, and they start bringing up other things that are completely unrelated to the uh, argument. So he was like, go. oh, your bloody light on your, your bloody back garden goes into our, our house, you bastards, and, and no this problem. and that. No problem, a hand grenade. No, he didn't. No, <laughs> and he then didn't. My, uh, he really, he brought he, up the light, the backyard light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my mum was like, well, when you cut your tree, it falls into our garden, and you know conifers can kill dogs. <laughs> and then he was like, yeah, I do know they can kill dogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> holy <laughs> shit! Yeah, yeah. It was holy mental. fuck! It was fucking mental. Jesus, um, yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Beefing with your neighbours. 
I know it was yeah. awful. Jesus and then Christ. and then his wife was like, "Oh, don't don't even bother talking to them. They don't care. They're those kinds of people." <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> those kinds they've, of people. They, like yeah. they've got the idea in their head. They were annoyed by some things and got like built up this idea in their head of who like mum and dad were and just yeah. projected and how that the onto argument them. was going to go. Pretty much. Yeah. 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 yeah, rather than just like coming round and being like, "Look, we got a few issues. If we could talk about it, like a normal fucking yeah. person." They would. did the classic yeah. English like, thing of getting annoyed about something for years and not saying anything at all, not saying one yeah. thing, and just then holding being it in. annoyed that the yeah. other people didn't correct it when they didn't know because yeah. you didn't fucking say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's stupid. Well, the dog thing, they're totally justified in getting annoyed about that. It annoys me. <clears> like, <throat> I'll wake up. At like six a.m. on on a work day, I wake up normally at like half seven to the dogs barking. So they wake me up as well. I can only imagine how annoying it is for people yeah, they that are live near us. Fucking nightmare. They've been better yeah. at it at the minute. And um, <clears throat> when the dogs are barking in the garden, all you have to do is get this red lead out and show it to them, and they'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> what if they? What the fuck did mum and oh, dad do the you, red you, lead? They just like put it around their neck and then take them inside, and they don't want to go inside. So as soon as they see the lead, they're like, "Oh fuck, uh, I want to stay outside." Yeah. So they stop. Will behave. Not right. Honestly, they're they're terrible. They're terrible. They're, but they're, they're getting better. Dogs, they're beautiful dogs, They are dogs, gorgeous though. and they're very cute little guys. They just get a little yeah. bit overexcited because Felix, a Dachshund actually next door yeah. is what sets them off. Uh, uh, oh fuck the Dachshund! What a what a shock! What a fucking shock! I know. It's like <laughs> the the other spaniel on the other fence doesn't really set him off. And neither yeah. does the dog in the back fence. It's the left fence with the dash on that they they just fucking yeah. can't. They want to get to it. Do you know why? Because it's fucking. It. Yeah, it's fucking anxious. It's <laughs> a little genetic freak. That's why. Yeah, yeah. It's just like a dog. <laughs> just freak generally. Of nature. Just it's generally. Bloody mutant. <laughs> it's the Witcher. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, Oscar and Hudson are average Novigrad uh, residents. Sorry, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Ethan, how's your new puppy? Oh, oh Angus. Oh yeah, yes, Angus. Oh yeah, he's uh, he's um he's good, you know. He's not so much a puppy now. He he's is still yeah. mentally, but he's yeah. mentally, huge. Yeah. He's a German, well, German shepherd. shepherd. Yeah, Fucking yeah, German dogs. shepherd. Oh, I love him. Brilliant, brilliant, sweet, really man. intelligent. He likes to play ball. He likes oh, biting yes. things, specifically <laughs> me. Yeah. He, <laughs> He is is a lovely dog. He's very intelligent though, so you've got to keep stimulating him. Yeah, with different things. I bet he can go forever on walks. He can. You'd be surprised actually. He's sort of like um, he can, but the moment you've you've hit that threshold, you bring him home, you'll go sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's what you want, though. That's exactly yeah, yeah. what you want. Because yeah, that's when you're sure. like, just be tired, please, just sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. He's 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 a good, shit really, today. really. <clears throat> He's a really, really sort of lovely dog, though, um, and he's been great fun. Um, yeah. yeah. And and he he feels like a fixture in the house now, so it's only been so many That's months. Good. Yeah. Because we got him in like yeah. December. Oh right, not like even oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 he would mm. now. He would. He feels like yeah. a permanent resident. He he will bark nonstop at six a.m. to say, "Wake up, wake oh, the fuck up." No. Wake up! You're gonna have an argument with your neighbours next. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, on one, one side or six a.m. every morning. I can't fucking like, believe it. Your fucking backlight gets into my house. <laughs> well, it's like, well, that's, that's what it's like. Well, I mean, it's not like a booming bark like Dennis. It's a, it's more of a high pitched. It hurts at close range. Um, yeah. But through the walls, you're not going to hear it much. It's not a very um, long yeah. range bark. No, he's he's not. Sure, he, his bark. testicles have not descended from the heavens yet. So, oh, we're right. waiting for that. <laughs> they're, they're still up there somewhere. Um, so we, he might, he might need to go and have that sorted out. That we don't know. But they just like pull his bollocks down and it just like no, pops they into go place. In the, no, no, they have to neuter them the spaying way. Oh, classic, way. yeah. Oh. And they wake up and you're um, like, "Fucking hell, mate! I've got no balls left, lad." It's like fucking hell. I've got no testicles, and it's like, yeah, you brought it on yourself. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Oh, has Sora got his bollocks still? No, he's yeah. got rid no, of them. Gone. <coughs> Absolute yeah. eunuch. Did we remove Sora's bollocks? Yeah, I think there was why a reason didn't... for it, but I can't remember why. So that he didn't have bollocks, probably. 
I don't know why that so the- made me think of 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 Varys from Game of Thrones, and then doing the <laughs> vlog at Kenilworth Castle in 2019 oh, yeah, with yeah, James, yeah, and we yeah. did like a Game of Thrones because it was Game like of Thrones bit. The bit, and I called so you we'll, Varys. We'll, so. <laughs> so we'll probably be neutering Angus soon. Um, I explained on the the podcast that didn't happen that um that, oh, yeah. that I refer to him as Goose, oh, yeah. and I still refer to him as the Goose. <clears throat> because it's just a suitable nickname. You look at me and you go, that's a goose. It's not a goose, it's a dog, but you it know is. what I mean. Goose dog. No, it makes sense. He is the sense. goose. He's a silly goose. I get it. <laughs> we, love, we love a couple silly geese up in here. We do. That's it's, very it's, true. It's, 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 more do. So, it's, it's more so a mixture of things. I remember, I, I, just, I was just sat there looking at this puppy of a dog, <laughs> and it was around Christmas time, he was tiny, and I was sat there going, right, right, I'm going to have to come up with a stupid nickname for you, Angus. So, so naturally, my mum was watching Top Gun, and yeah. and I was thinking, <laughs> ah, Angus, Gus, ah, Goose, there we go, hey. Hey, that's you, that's, <clears throat> that's true you. to that's be fair, yeah. stupid nickname, and since then, that's all that's stuck, Yeah, and I still refer to, to him it. as it, and he responds to it, he fucking responds to it as well, yes. like he knows his name, he knows that he's also the Goose, the mighty <laughs> Mr. Goose, he knows he is the mighty Goose, the and mighty he's... Goose, <laughs> <laughs> and he's responds the same way it's fantastic that's great that. He's always give your dog a stupid well. nickname <clears throat> it is the it is the moral of this story yeah it's like we Got call him. oscar I... oswald <laughs> oh. see the, i want a dog so bad like i know it's it, that it's puppy stage one. always a, always a bit of work yeah no i'm waiting till um teeks and I I t- living puppies. together and and oh, yeah, yeah so probably be like next year well, yeah. um, right. Once we get one, and we saw we were at, um, you can find, you can skip town. the puppy stage and grip some. It's grip a it's true. That's... It's it's true. We do want a specific true. dog breed though, so we'll see we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I'm, no, open to, I'm, open you, to, I, I'm open to. I'm open to. I promise anything. you, you start start exploring the rescue route. You will find a dog that you will fall in. Love. Yeah. No. Oh, exactly. So yeah. No. Hundred percent. So um. Yeah. No. I mean, the the <coughs> dog I grew up with was was a rescue. Um, mm-hmm. And just with the most incredible dog, um, yeah. so I'm open. I'm open to anything, um, but it won't be look until we're ready to look. It, I'm not gonna, you know. Worry You're not too open much to about... dashing though. No, I'm not. Um, <laughs> Tease wants one so bad, but we but we were dashing. we're at this is yesterday morning. We we're just out like at some markets, um, and they walk past the dog is so distinct, such a distinct looking, beautiful dog. Um, mm. And I just go to T. I was like, I think that's an Aussie doodle, like an, a, an Aussie Shepherd Cross poodle. And we talked yeah. about. I've never seen one in person. A... And uh, and I well, I just mean it's not. I've never doodle. seen one. I've googled them, uh, and and they look amazing. And I've watched some videos on them, but I've never seen one in person. And it just like stood out to me. Um, and I we went over to the owner and asked, and he said it was a Border Collie Cross poodle. But you know, obviously, very Aussie Shepherds and Border Collies, very very similar dogs in, yeah. in look yeah. and, and temperament and everything. Um, and he was just like, and which I would also consider, but just beautiful and Aussie shepherds. Um, are beautiful the temperament dogs. they are. They're yeah. so stunning. They and they they are. Are. Um, the the guy Very, goes on. Oh, the temperament's you that amazing. Is the most active of dogs, though. They're work dogs. Well, border collies and, and Aussie shepherds are, are working like yeah, dogs. yeah, and that's yeah. why you sort of border, the border poodle cross are... would be good. Um, just to you have a little bit of the cuddle chillness yeah. to it. But yeah. I, I want a dog I can run with. I want a dog I can go. You know. On hikes with and stuff, and be active yeah, with. So, that'd be sick. Um, yeah, that's what you, that's, that's, you want to work in. You want yeah. you want you could probably get away with a show line dog, but um, but from a working breed. Um, yeah, but I wouldn't I wouldn't get a working dog unless you're actively putting that dog to work nonstop. Yeah, hundred um, percent. That, that that dog will absolutely destroy your house. It will yeah. destroy all of your possessions. Yeah. It will destroy your relationship. On, on it a, will destroy, on a, destroy, your, destroy your relationship. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It will like, nuke your country. A working line dog in a poor, in a poorly suited environment will destroy. It will go destroy. I, th- I think we. I wouldn't do. I probably wouldn't do like a full bred like Aussie Shepherd or Border Collie until we had like a big yard and a house down the road. So I think the the Poodle Cross is probably the way to go for us. Um, yeah. And, yeah. Until that, but right now we're sort of in yeah. a city living and working and you know that sort of stuff. So there is a, it's down there the road. A dog on the planet, aside from maybe St Bernards, that don't enjoy walking. <laughs> they will walk for as long as you take them, you know. Yeah, no, I'm, 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 I'm buzzing for it. I'm, I'm buzzing for it. You know, <clears> to have <throat> a dog I can go on runs yeah, with and um, go out on adventures with and stuff like, uh, you know, I'm a, 
yeah, I'm an active person. I want an active dog. Little companion um, but it, but yeah. also want um, a dog as well. You know, you can come home to and just sit on the couch and just cuddle up to. So, you know, yeah. it's um, um, yeah. But I'm I'm keen, and I think seeing one yesterday, just seeing them in person, going like, wow, what? It's like a stunning dog, and like yeah. energy, temperament, everything. It was just sitting there. Yeah, what a fantastic was... example of a dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. indeed. I know yeah. what you mean. Um, there are many times where I encounter a dog and I go, "That's what a lovely dog." Um, yeah, I, I just I just like yeah. interacting with dogs on occasion. Usually, I stay away. Usually, I, true, I don't true. get too close to dogs uh, that, that I don't know. I just don't because mm-hmm. I don't not that interested. But if it's a dog that's <laughs> genuinely probably too when much. it's a dog that's genuinely <laughs> gorgeous, or indeed the yeah. dog comes and says hello to me, either or. Yeah, I go, if oh, it comes up, dog. Then, yeah. and then yeah, I'll, I'll if the dog comes up to me, I'm not going to boot it away and go fuck <laughs> off, dog. I'm not gonna do that, but I am That'd gonna go. And, I'm gonna say hello when it comes up, but I'm not gonna uh, approach somebody with their dog because I don't know that person. I don't know their dog, so I don't want to do that. Um, the dog's I've curious. Seen, I've seen people over, approach then, yeah. people and their dogs um, the wrong way, and, I've, and and it has gone wrong for them. Like, yeah, if true. you approach a dog the wrong way, you can really make that dog hate you before you've had an interaction. The reason being, I remember, I remember being told of this. I wasn't actually there. But uh, a bloke once walked up to Dennis in like a in like a pub. Obviously, in the UK, lots of pubs, dogs are allowed in. So my mum was there with Dennis in this pub, and this bloke came over. And was like, oh, I love big dogs, and he was like walking over. He was just you know very, very energetic, very quick. And Dennis, for the only time he's ever done this, showed his teeth. He was like, fuck off. Ooh. I've, n- I've never seen I've never seen him do it. I've only the guy must have been bad vibes. If Dennis the the guy like, must have been seriously bad vibes only. Yeah. Um, bad, and bad vibes only. Yeah. Bad vibes only. I, I, I thought this was this podcast. I don't. I just couldn't. Uh, I just couldn't remember. Um, <laughs> but yes, it was. It was. Was apparently the only time he'd ever shown teeth. Like not in not wow. in not in malice in self defense and like fuck off. This is your warning. You know. And yeah. When you see when if you saw him show teeth, I can promise you, you'd want to run. Yeah, that, I wouldn't have wanted yeah. to be on the bad side, the wrong side of Dennis. That's for sure. I don't think there is a wrong side of Dennis. I think it was specifically <laughs> that bloke he didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd hate to be that bloke. I'd hate to. Our, I'm sure I've told this at some point on a podcast, but like our first dog we had, got when I was like two or three years old. Um, she was a rescue, little Jack Russell, but. She was like excellent dogs. I like Jack Russells. Oh, they're, yeah, amazing. Just I love Jack Russells. They have they're a bad reputation incredible. here, but I, like I don't. Them. I don't know. Well, they're just. I've had two in my life, and they're the most incredible, beautiful, loving, loyal dogs. And um, <laughs> our our first one, she was like an absolute savage. Like when we got a <laughs> and savage is in just like fucking awesome, badass. Like. Yeah. Went through so much snake bites, cane toads, rat poison. The An whole lot survived trad. it all. Lived till she was seventeen years old. Like she was a and then died and then died out dog. of spite for the world. And yeah. Honestly, like yeah, she was just such <laughs> yeah. an incredible dog. Like yeah, I was nineteen when she passed. I like my whole life, um, pretty much. Yeah. It, you know, we'd had her, yeah. but when we got her, she had bruises on her, and we just thought it had come from like an abusive home, and she'd run away. But she always barked at like. I was getting tradies, so like tr- tradesmen, workers, yeah. hide their shirts and trucks, specifically trucks. Always mm-hmm. lost her yeah. mind. So it wasn't like men, but it was specifically like so like blue okay, collar men. Clearly, yeah, blue collar men. Yeah, she didn't like the poor. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? The mass. Like like <laughs> like but I don't either. So it's sort of society. like fine. Yeah, she fit right in because we don't like those pores, do we? Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh yes, this dog matches. Oh yes, this yeah. dog matches yeah. my contempt for the impoverished. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's the truth. Dog. Tory. Yeah, yeah. She, 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 my dog was a Tory. Yeah. Oh, no. But I, I do uh, like. I do. I do like um, Jack Russell's. Joke, they're, they're, they're only so far from becoming proper, like, properly mental dogs, though. Like, for instance, my nan once had a Jack Russell Terrier. Um, his name was Bruno. He <laughs> died of like a like a heart attack suddenly one one day. I think we knew it was coming, but that was that. Anyway, uh, after that, she got a dog that was a bit of a mixture of everything, like the worst parts of everything. So Jack Russell Terrier, Corgi, and Collie all in one. Amazing. Oh, and uh, and you go, and you go. 
A, who the fuck is mixing Jack Russell Terriers with corgis? Yeah, they're small <laughs> enough already. That is weird. That's a weird it's combination. It's a bad idea. It's a bad Who's idea. It's, it's one dog with a temperament reputation added with another dog with a temperament reputation yeah. and this dog was yeah. this dog was an absolute fucking explosive yeah you see you see the you see jack russell's like the, these little things but honestly like the big dogs are scared of him half the time like you see this big dog come up and the jack like my first one just would chase these massive dogs around and they would run from a freak of the fuck out yeah. she was just like <laughs> big fuck dogs, off big dogs don't want <laughs> big dogs are not interested in violence at all the big yeah. dogs are like there's nothing in my head fuck off you know, yeah. they have no, they're not thinking of anything. They're just running away going, this little thing, this little rat is chasing me. You know, it's quite, yeah, it's true. quite, <clears throat> it's quite terrifying for the big dog when you think about it. Cause like, I only came to say hello. Oh my God. I'm being chased. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Average big dogs. Dog. How good are dogs? You know, aren't, aren't they just the best? animals. Love, love dogs. I've, ne- I've never met a dog I couldn't find some common ground with, um, besides from the <laughs> ones that look like they need to be put down already. Oh god! god. Yeah. Oh jeez! Little oh, no. hairless dogs. So, 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 so me, 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 and dogs. I get along with dogs a lot. I love dogs. Yeah, we love them. We're, uh, we're a pro dog. <clears throat> pro dog. Pro. Yeah. We're, we are a pro dog podcast. We are a pro dog. Yeah, That's indeed. True. That's true. If your anti dog uh, will fight you. Yeah. If your anti dog, you will get hurt. We will Physically. throw stones at you. Yeah. We'll Heavens. come at you with the hammers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm with the um, hammer now. How are you doing? <laughs> James, um, we did talk about, oh, like, we did talk about um, segment ideas and things, like, little things like that. I'm not sure if we're going to exactly do, yeah, we did. do, do, do that. Because um, obviously George has recommended, but, like, maybe, Hello. you know, we throw something in there from each of us. Um you had like a James's critiques idea with like what was it revisiting Again? Valhalla? Oh, oh yeah, we need to yes, we need to and fix it was our sort of fucking... like you 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 come with some edgy take and and critique and then we like have a yeah. discussion about it. I yeah. usually yeah. agree with yeah. it though. Okay, you know. <clears throat> so th- okay, all right. Let me present you with this. This is interesting. So I thought yes, I thought we revisit Valhalla because it was the first podcast we did. On yeah, this, on, the, on the network, yeah. Four Pillars podcast. Yeah. The introduction True. to the show was a Valhalla spoiler cast. Um, yeah. and we all glazed it. It was an interesting chat at the time. It was, you know, I don't really remember all that well, but that's not the point. So, Still haven't had my apology story. from everybody. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> see, the thing is, there I'm are sorry, certain Tyler. aspects of it that I still kind of stand by. I quite enjoy. Yeah, well, I know that's, well, that's a war the thing, crime. right? I know that's a war crime, I, but I don't actually hate Valhalla. It's actually a legal. No, it's, war crime. I couldn't play it it's ever again. <laughs> No, no, I agree, Geneva but I, I think so. The the, the general, the, the way the game is, I still don't love. Right, like I'm not trying. I'm not going to sit here and try and present the concept of oh, Valhalla is secretly a masterpiece. That's not the case. I, I think that there's so much of the structure, pacing, like general genre conventions, like the, the the monetization of it, the DLC. Like there's so many aspects of it that aren't great. Like it's you know a very messy game with a lot of flaws to it. But when I was writing my uh, Black Flag script for the the retrospective on that i did end up revisiting valhalla because there was this idea that i kept seeing pop up on my like twitter because as i was writing it i guess the algorithm just noticed um and so i was getting presented with all these assassin's creed takes and one thing i kept saying seeing was this idea that oh but everyone loves like you know edward's story being what it was but no one likes you know Eivor's story sort of thing and i was thinking to myself i'm like that's not it's not the same thing at all no no it's not um and so I was like, look, I'm going to revisit Valhalla. I'm going to tackle that thought. Um, but you what I ended up sort of concluding... And fi- no, I didn't play Valhalla. Um, oh, right, okay. I just like thought about it in my head. Um, you, you just, you just yeah. rationalised it in your mind. You were there like, oh, I can manifest a perfect memory. Yeah, I, re- I remember <laughs> it perfectly. I've got Valhalla just sits in my head rent free. I just remember the entire yeah. thing through. Understandable. Um, yeah. but, I don't remember so anything. The idea... <laughs> Yeah, I, yeah, no, in reality, I remember, like, bits and pieces. But the point is, I um, essentially came to this conclusion. I was, I, 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 I don't know how to present this. Um, the, and I wrote about it in my script, which is that I, I came to the conclusion that I actually don't think Eivor becoming an assassin would be better. I don't think it would improve the game. 
Um, right. I don't think it would make for a better story. And the reason being is because <clears throat> Eivor and Edward are very parallel characters in the way that they're presented in their own story. The difference, they're both searching for purpose, they're both searching for meaning, they're both trying to find freedom from a life that has like set them on a path that they feel that like, they have to conform to. Edward breaks free of that and becomes an assassin because it makes sense. It, it, like The ideals of the assassins lend themselves to him and the people that he's met through them he feels like an allegiance to and a loyalty with like mary um and obviously adawale at the end when he joined the assassins too and so edward joins the assassins because it aligns with what he needs and what he feels and his ideals that we've explored across the game the difference with eivor is that she doesn't there was do no development yeah i, no, I agree no, 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 i no, totally no, agree no, i'm no, glad no, you no. said listen, that listen, listen. all right so Eivor's, moving on what is Mm. Abel's journey is the same thing. It's about discovering and finding freedom from the belief systems that have kept her trapped in the Vikings, which is why she she sort of redevelops the Raven Clan and the way that they go when she takes over and leads for them. And it's her whole conflict with like Odin within her head. It's a it's a conflict of belief and of faith. And mm. the reason she doesn't join the assassins is because yeah. those assassins are pre Altair. It's also a critique of the different points of view of the assassins, which is why you've got this very similar story with edward and with eivor because you get to the end and it's like well if eivor knew the post altair assassins she she probably would join up with them she probably would and also one herself. of the assassins was loki and tried to kill her so you know, yeah look that's... that part doesn't matter just ignore that bit that bit's also <laughs> still bad should. like the other look, don't get me wrong impotent. don't get me wrong the game oh. is still a disaster in a it. lot of areas i'm talking yeah. mainly conceptually like the the idea mm -hmm. of this yeah. like you know on like a conceptual level is just the idea of a like the, the the what the assassins stand for is a totally different thing and it makes so much sense that it's it's it is it's showing this depiction of like order versus freedom and that idea of discovering free will and fighting for that and to fight for that to fight for free will you can't join the assassins in that time period because that's not yeah. what they fight for they're dogmatic they're you know they're, they're this whole like hierarchical system like it just it just doesn't work properly so it actually makes a lot of sense and i love that in concept i think it's great i don't think it's executed all that well i think the game no. is still a mess but i love that concept and i'm like oh that makes so much sense so i can understand why people would appreciate it um and i appreciate elements of it um yeah there's there's but... still parts of valhalla's story that i appreciate like there's bits and pieces here and there that i'll think back and i'll be like that that was pretty good and then i re remember the rest of it and i'm like maybe not but i mean that in concept is very cool as an idea yeah uh, my <clears> only <throat> memory cool in there. It, of the game is the drain i felt <clears throat> while playing <laughs> and i'm, and I'm not trying up. to make a joke like i just it genuinely <laughs> was one of the most draining experiences of any game i've ever played it's because it's setting like, it, it was it was exhausting it was exhausting and like yeah. i remember playing these like mythical arcs and i remember james literally messaging you going like this uh, and i said to i think something along the lines of this is the worst thing i've ever played <laughs> like yeah. this is this part of this game is just so god awful and that I paid really no attention to it thinking, well, it's like, how important really is this mythical shit anyway? And it turns out to be, that was the whole point of the game. Yeah, um, the most important part there is. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah. then I got to the end, I'm like, that, wait, what? Like, that, are you really telling me that, like, he was Loki? And actually yeah. owed it? Yeah. And that's She's the story? Great. And that's what the game's about? That's actually the whole story? And then, and then somehow, Loki's still alive in the modern day. Um, He's got a cool wolf shirt on. Little furry yeah. shirt. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, then the, I, th yeah. I think went for the, the TVA like the to plot, show up. The plot is cooked. I think that's there's no doubt. the The whole plot of the game is just like pretty fucking cooked. Yeah, um, but it's it's the I think the thing that resonates with me is just the just the general sort of thematic exploration they go through using Avor as a character. I don't necessarily think the characters themselves are like deeply compelling characters all the time. Yeah, yeah. But I like what the game's trying to say and what it's like going for and sort of how it does it. I think there's like a lot of I don't know. There's something there that like resonates with me, and general oh. vibe too. I just enjoy the vibe. I don't know. I think I I just think I can't comment too much on what you've described because what you have described is interesting, right? And like I get the points, but I just don't think I remember enough of that story to yeah. be like, oh yeah, I agree. Like that they did this really well or that not well. Like I I I just only remember the the bad parts mostly. Like I remember some yeah. like 
battles the vibe moments like you know the the exploring that was fun like there was obviously bits of the game that were cool and that worked well um yeah, right. but but i think it was just it the expectations were were supposed to be something way more than yeah. what it was and um, we all had very big expectations so yeah That's no the longest God. I it can't believe so drawn out. Doesn't oh, help. I can't believe how long it is. I mean, it yeah. was long by design, intentionally, wasn't it, to feel yeah, like yeah, a, it a, a Viking epic? Saga. But it ends up, yeah. it ends up just being this slog with tons slog, of. Slog. Yeah. I can only describe as filler, really. Yeah, that's the thing. Like you, all every single arc that is in the game is in service of something, but each one is like three hours long and like so Ugh. much of it is mindless fetch questing and bullshit and bandit camps and then you'll get like five to ten minutes maybe like half an hour max in some of the better ones of like meaningful like dialogue and introspection and like symbolism yeah. and that stuff but everything i was like the rest of it like two and a half hours of it is just mindless just this slog through which does not help the game it's like it's structured so poorly um and even though it is yeah. intentional it's still just like all I remember yeah. is watching a YouTube video where some bloke referred to the Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now, whoever he is, he's a legend, I can't remember his name, but he referred to it as the 100-hour colonoscopy. <laughs> yeah, honestly, <laughs> that's a great, great description of it. Uh, Playing through that game really just fun. once does rot your brain beyond beyond repair, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. It traumatizes yeah, you for, for certain. sure. Yeah, but if and it was... thing, like I'm, I'm not trying to say that the game is like I still think it's like not a good game, and I, I don't, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't totally. recommend playing it. Um, but just like Depends dwelling on, on it conceptually, I thought was quite nice. I enjoyed yeah, that. like, like being exploring like, oh, I those like themes of, you know, fighting for freedom is a very important thing. Thing is, the only time I, the only time I advocate for people playing those games is when they say they're not going to because I don't like it. It's like no, you find out what you like and don't like without me. So there I am actively convincing somebody to play a game that i don't really like yeah. purely because I mean, they're, they're framing so sorry, too fault. much on me yeah yeah you know well i mean i'm perfectly happy for people to just take my opinions and then hold on to those and make them their own opinions no, use them forever use them forever this is I more, this is more they want to do idea, it this isn't, this isn't more they want to do it but they don't want to piss me off for some reason and i'm like i'm not gonna get pissed yeah. off i don't care well, they better not piss me off. And it's right. usually not, it's not <laughs> yeah. random people. We're talking, James we're, will get you. We're talking, we're, talking, yeah. we're talking like friends of mine rather than random people. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. No, um, in fact, I constantly my project my or... opinions onto friends. Especially when it comes to video games. My friend likes a game I don't like. I have to verbally berate them in the street. Well, I physically berate them. I physically yeah. assault them. Yeah, James, I've seen yeah. James physically assault people. <laughs> I would punch someone until they're... AC3 holds up! Well. And then, like, James <laughs> runs over to them and, like, break actually... Their legs. Like, like, breaks their legs. Break like, their legs. Just... Both of them. That's what he sounds like when his legs oh, get broken. God. Please um, stop. Why are you doing this? Somebody, please help. <laughs> well, that's a different assassination, <laughs> but still... Oh, oh man, I love Assassin's Creed. <laughs> so do oh, I. We love it. So Glad we had I. an Assassin's Creed segment. Um, yeah, Ethan, I know we we, we yeah. Ethan, we talked about like a bit of like a history one, and we weren't really sure what what angle to take. But you did recently go on a trip somewhere. I wasn't sure if maybe you'd want to talk about that. Um, um, um I mean, I did go on a trip. I went to obviously I went to Berlin for a couple of days. Mostly spent it drinking. Yeah, Classic. as you should. But yeah. when in Berlin, I did wind up eh? going to some. I did wind up going to some deep communist locations. Nice. Right. Is yeah. Okay. The Stasi headquarters. The well, the Stasi headquarters in Berlin. Yeah. And the and the Stasi prison. What's the so, Stasi? What is that? Uh, you know the um, you know the KGB in Russia. Yes. Yes. That, but for East Germany. Right. So were they a Nazi sort of offshoot? No, they no, they were a post Nazi sort of offshoot. Right, okay, of course. But, yeah, but... you said communist, yeah. <laughs> Obviously not. <laughs> Obviously yeah. not Nazi. <laughs> Everything's a Nazi offshoot if it's in Germany. If it's in Germany, it's uh it's Nazi, that's how it is. You've heard it at first. Uh, yeah, but sorry, no, there's no, there's no Nazis involved here. 
So we Sorry to, to our this, Nazi um... viewers. <laughs> <laughs> one Nazi viewers, we apologise for That's all of them. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no. But no. Sorry, go on. So we went into this... So let's start with the uh, the Stasi headquarters. It was an interesting place. I forget what it was actually called. But it was a massive... What 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 you got to understand about brutalist architecture. Massive, featureless buildings. Yeah, it's horrible. Mm. And, you know, the... And I forget what this place was called. It's, it's, it's now the Stasi Museum, basically. And if mm-hmm. you Google that, if you Google Stasi, which is spelled S-T-A-S-I, so museum, right. and then flip through the images, you'll see exactly what I mean about massive featureless buildings. I do kind of like brutalist architecture, but it's also very depressing. Oh, I see. Yeah. Big grey box. Can I like the more brutalist, philosophy though, right? behind it. Like like thinking about it and talking about it i don't actually like the buildings yeah they're yeah. not nice but it's also cool that a building can make you feel like that where it's like oh, yeah that's, that's what horrible. i'm saying yeah the, like art behind it unsettles like, you doesn't why it? you would do that yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very Even psychological then, this is pretty light brutalist there's at least windows in this like plenty of windows yeah, yeah well, it's got windows doesn't mean you're gonna doesn't mean you want to particularly be looking out of them well that's very, true. <laughs> that's very true I mean, but See, the inside of it was also about about as bland as the outside. And by bland, I don't mean boring. I mean bland as in by design. The place was quite s- sterile, quite yeah, yeah, very very simple in how they designed it. And it mm-hmm. had a particular smell to it that obviously, that obviously you going to get there. It's like ooh, that's a weird smell. I wonder delicious. who pissed on the carpet. Delicious but scent. Genu- mm. Genuinely. I, I mean, I don't actually know much history to go along with it, but there was a bust of Karl Marx. That was oh funny. yes, the hey, boy what's epic. What? from Assassin's Creed Legend. Syndicate. Oh yeah, true of Assassin's Creed Syndicate famous. fame. That is where he's yeah. that is They where made him a real from. thing and put him in the Stasi Museum. Well, it was that's just crazy. Yeah, I'm like I can't yeah. Wow. that's true. But the the Stasi prison, on the other hand, that that was a fucking horror show. I mean, I the the tour was great. I 100 percent recommend it. If um, I forget what it's actually called, I need to figure out what it's called again. Oh, no, then I'm gonna mispronounce it badly. That's all right. We're English. We That's can what we do best. Things exactly. Uh, Hohenhausen or something. Mm. And and I can't spell it's that. It's a big. Um, oh, I H-O-H-E-N-S-C-H-O-N-H-A-U-S-E-N. see it. H o h e n s c h o n h a u s e n. Yeah, I see a picture of it here. And it, yeah, that 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 was prison. So what are we? So. The, the tour was incredibly detailed. It went over, you know, what it was like to be imprisoned here and, you know, how basically what kind of hell you'd be in and how you'd be not necessarily physically tortured, but psychologically. Jesus. As a prisoner of the Stasi. And it was, it was, very, it was very interesting. Furthermore, I realised something. Has because anyone found post- this? Has anyone got pictures I can look at? Um, Just type in Stasi Prison Berlin and you'll find it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I typed in. Ah, uh, I got it. Yeah, okay, I got it. And and you'll see you'll see where I was. I was, I was I'm in here. I'm trying to remember to put this up on screen. And, yeah, look, doesn't look this, like fun. I have, I have pictures anyway, so we can use them without violating somebody else's copyright, if possible. Hey. So um, what made you want to go here? Oh, I didn't get a fucking say. My dad went, we're going here, and we went. And that's, that was it. I would um, not go there. I, it was it was very. I mean, I wasn't going to object. It sounded interesting, but it wasn't my idea. That's yeah. what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it looks interesting. So we went over. Like, yeah, it was very fun. Did the tour. Almost fell asleep on the tour. The tour was very interesting. <clears throat> I was just incredibly soft, tired, so I was a zoning off. Soft-spoken German man. Some other beers. Yeah. It was it was a, it was a fairly soft-spoken uh, German woman actually, but it was the oh. information was too interesting. I couldn't go sleep, so I was quite happy with that. Because I was like, this is going to be really embarrassing if I plod off here. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I tried not to. I tried not to. And, yeah. Then we started mooching about. Things were all right. Blood was pumping again. Went into some cells. A lot of them didn't have windows. They were tiny little boxes. Um, and it was, yeah. You didn't get a window. You don't, you don't get to see out of the They have world. a bog. I don't know if it's day, night. You have a bog and a box. And that's about Lovely. it. And oh. when you were down there, you wouldn't your sleep schedule would get fucked because you wouldn't know what time of day it was. True. 
And there That's was no a form way of torture knowing. in of itself, isn't it? What, Ethan, what's the creepiest like place you've ever visited? When you've gone oh, to good these question. Histori historical locations like castles, or creepy places. in what way? I mean, um, like eerie, like, like you're there and you're just like, like this, this is just yeah. a, a weird bad vibes. I mean, that the Stasi prison for, didn't feel bad vibes. It's certainly not haunted, and so I couldn't say that. But if we're talking unsettling, it's more an implication than anything physical that's happening around you. So yeah. you see this destroyed. Well, basically, it's an old disused prison that's become effectively a tourist site there's too mm. many people around for it to feel too bad vibes in general so i wouldn't say there but castles tend to tend to have this thing about them like old castles in in the um in the uk specifically because i don't tend to visit them anywhere else apparently mm. they have this really strange thing about them where you're mooching around and you go i don't feel like i i don't feel like i'm being watched as such but I don't necessarily feel like I'm on the ones. And yeah. it's like, it's, it can be reassuring sometimes. Other times it's not. I mean, it's not a feeling. It's not a feeling I believe. I don't believe there's anything there. But it's that thought in your mind that goes, "This place has been here for so long." Yeah. Right. Yeah, and, and it's going to be there for probably after we die as well. I definitely get that. I feel like I've definitely felt that before, like similar. But I mean, I could tell you what feeling. the worst. I could tell you what the most underwhelming historical location I've ever visited was. Sure. Right. Where? Stonehenge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Didn't we it's talk a... about this last episode? I yeah, think we yes. did. Or maybe it was on the podcast that never was. <laughs> oh, maybe. It might yeah, Stonehenge be. being just a bunch of stones is probably a Just a bit of stones. Some of it's just uh... a bit of stones here and there. Uh... Or not well, to be confused like... with a bit of stones. It's but, just uh, a bunch of I stones. Do... But I do like going to these locations and I don't feel ever like if I'm genuinely, un I don't ever feel genuinely unsettled going somewhere ancient or old or maybe even disused. Um, I have a rule against going anywhere that's <coughs> been 100% abandoned because it's still owned by somebody, so it's still trespassing. But in general, there's nowhere that I'd go and go, this is a bad vibe. This is a genuinely horrid vibe. What about like Auschwitz? Although, look, if I go there, that would win, okay? Right. Yeah. If I go there, that would win, hands down. Yeah. Yes. But I suppose that's. And are, wanna, are we talking about like out. paranormal bad vibe? Like, what are we talking? No, about? I think I think just genuinely just dark history in general. Yeah, yeah like yeah. some it feels a bit somewhere because you're like, oh, you stuff know, here was not good. Yeah, like you know something bad has happened there. I mean, yeah, that that's... something. I mean, to be actually, to be fair on that front, um, Clifford's Tower in York has had quite a bad thing happen Clifford's there. Clifford's Tower. Was, uh, it was, I think it was like 13th century. There, there was like this uprising in the city against Jewish people, and right, they all okay. basically ran into this castle and were held there. And when they were in this castle, some of them were tricked into coming out. It's like, we'll spare your life if you come out. They came out, they killed them. Oh, I think I've heard of this. Jesus. And, and the, the rest killed themselves in the castle to avoid being killed by the Christians outside. Crikey. Or to avoid That's being, fucked. or to this avoid was, being disgraced for their uh, faith. Jewish people were in, were in the, in the castle. Is that what you said? Oh. Yeah, it's yes, it's, it, it's wild. It, it, if I type in Clifford's Tower, York, I'll be able to tell you what the event was called because I can't remember off the top of my head. But it's it's quite a big part of its history, history and stories. So. Oh, what so was like, the so just Cliff like literally just a oh yes the, it's just the massacre like at Clifford's Tower <laughs> it was it was a, it was 1190 so while Altair was kicking about hey. oh, this is a wrong time oh, for it, really, but had to do it it was in 1190 so it's 12th century and it's one of the worst anti-semitic massacres of the middle ages apparently according oh, to okay. English heritage yeah so the city's entire Jewish community certainly not the most horrific, mob. yeah, of all time. Just of one of the though, yeah. I mean, of, yeah. of the guess of the Middle Ages. Of the yeah, Middle Ages, is the worst. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah It was, but yeah, I suppose there's that. That was quite a dark thing. But I think, <laughs> yeah, I think the actual castle that was there was burned down at that time. I think I don't think the Clifford's Tower today was the exact same as. The was it like a, a wooden right. Mont Bailey it was just in back that in the location. day? I, I don't know. It would have been. It would have been. It was in that sort of period where a lot of them did get converted to stone. 
but I don't think there's definitely a what's it a mot? Is that what it's called? The big hill that it's on. The the the, the man is that the bailey? Is a mot. Yeah, okay. The bailey right. is the the bailey is the courtyard. The wall. Oh, okay, okay, right, okay. So yeah. So the mot is the mound atop which you get the keep, and yeah. then the bailey is the courtyard where everything actually happens. Yeah, my GCSE knowledge of castles is failing me. <laughs> yeah, usually, um, usually the bailey's like a small town at first, and then that gets pushed outside of the walls as it expands. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, I say usually as if it still happens. Back in the day, though, castles anymore. They're a bit outdated. Build a build a gaff, a massive gaff. Everyone lives yeah, inside it. Guys. What's the gaff's name? Gaff. Yeah. <laughs> now, but I mean, I could I couldn't define them specifically to you because I'm no I'm no I'm no expert on the subject. But I do know that the mound is the mot, and the top it you get your keep, and then your bailey's like a <laughs> sort of like a courtyard almost. It's like a complementing courtyard, so to speak. It's like a mini m- tiny. It's where like all sort of the tradespeople used to live, right? You'd have like a little butcher, a little whatever the fuck. I guess this castle Black in particular Smith. isn't big enough. But I remember it's visiting. It's a little town, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's effectively it's like a, a tiny town, that's the only miniature way to town. It. Yeah, yeah. It's a tiny town. Yeah, I mean, talking about that, it reminds me of. Um, I went to the Jewish ghetto in Venice recently, where from the 16th to the 19th century they had curfew. And they were, you know, Jesus. not allowed, uh, you know, in other parts of the city at certain times of the day. Um, and there was like, I got to see the first, well, maybe not the oldest, but one of the oldest pawn shops in Europe. There, it was just this little, this little, it said Banco Rosso above above the door. Um, but yeah, what? it was just crazy. It's crazy to see like this. It's, it looks nice now, but I imagine back in the day, it was probably a horrible place to live. Just being segregated from the rest of the city. Just yeah. Your religious beliefs. It's wild. <clears throat> Although, that, that reminds me as well. On the topic of things looking nice now, and not so long ago being a horrible place to be, East Berlin. All the interesting stuff all is in that sort of part of the city, really. Yeah. And you get, you get all sorts. You go, this looks great, but I wouldn't want it to be here in the 80s. No. Is that where the wall yeah. was? The wall went uh, surrounded West Berlin. Right, okay. Because it was deep because Berlin is deep into the eastern portion of Germany that would have been all East Germany. And since the mm-hmm. city was divided independently from the rest of the the country being the capital, there was yeah. a wall constructed. The reason the wall was constructed was because too many people fled to West Berlin to use the pockets to get out of um to get out of the Eastern Bloc effectively. And so I've, I've, and so it was like we can't keep letting that happen. We'll build a wall around West West Berlin, so that it's not part of you know. So it's not there's no way out. And then we'll not let people leave it for like thirty years, however long it was up for. Something like that. People managed. Yeah. Some people, people built escaped. tunnels and all sorts. Yeah, I've heard stories of some escapes, but it was very rare, wasn't it? <clears throat> Most rare people end up getting such, shot. Such a bizarre time in history, hey. Well, escape yeah. attempts weren't rare, but people actually successfully escaping, it was like almost unheard of, wasn't it? People did manage, I think. They did, yeah. There are cases of it happening. Mm-hmm. That's for sure. I'd and love then to you go to Effectively, Berlin. two Germanies next to each other. Yeah. yeah, it's... It's wild. Absolutely crazy. One was the West, and the other was the East. And the East one was where all the mad stuff happened. Yeah, well, it's the one... Russia was looking after. Oh, fucking hell. I mean, the... Classic. Sad. Classic. Yeah, classic. Um, they were under some communist control. Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Not a good time. Deep. Communism. No, not a good time. Uh, yeah, I mean, it gets worse bad. when you look at what cars they had. Yeah. And it gets worse when you realise what cars you would have had to drive in, in East Germany. Larders. No. No, they have <laughs> their own. A... They had car, the Trabant. Ooh, let me Google that. And the Trabant was a 600cc two-stroke engine made out of like the with the bodywork made out of resin. Effectively, it was described as a spark plug with a roof. Oh, that's a beauty. It was very loud. Nought to sixty, maybe. <laughs> no specific time frame. <laughs> and the waiting list for getting one was about ten years. Crikey. 
they were produced from the nineteen sixties until like nineteen eighty maybe nineteen ninety something. They look nice though. I like how they look. They are, Just but they're incredibly little, loud. You know when they're coming. Cute little things. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine they make all sorts of noises. Oh god. They do. Um. I wanted to check with you, James, something. Because I was thinking for my one, I thought maybe I'll have a Tyler's Tales or something mm -hmm. to, to sort of tell. Um, and there was one I wanted to add written down, but then we did Clubhouse the other day, and I was like, have I already told this on Clubhouse, maybe? Um, of, like, my hike with um, the... Uh, my hike with a serial killer in Hawaii. Huh? I, I, I think Hang you on. did. I mean... I, Hang on, like what that the rings fuck? a bell. I think I've heard it. But... So you hiked with a serial killer? Not exactly. Well, look, because I remember you brought this up on Clubhouse, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I remember." You that. said, "Yeah, and I but do," then... okay. but I don't remember the story. Well, man, I just this remember is fair, like, because like, obviously Clubhouse is only you know a, a certain is the, for paid subscribers, and if they've gotten it, they've gotten it. But this is for people. This is public. Yeah, I if you've already, yeah. If you've already so, heard look, I'll it, tell, I'll tell it again. I'll tell it again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you get so all four of our reactions yeah. to it. So, so, um, last year, I was in Hawaii with my, with my girlfriend, and um, we were wanting to, you know, some days you just want to relax, just want to go by the beach, rent a surfboard, have a surf, have some fun, chill out. Some days you want to do some activities, and we thought, let's have a look at, because um, we're staying in a lot of Airbnbs, and I love Airbnb, always been, like, amazing for, like, accommodation stuff. Um, yeah. In, from, in my experiences, you know, all over the world. But I always go for an Airbnb. I've never too. done, like, activities. Because they do, like, you can find through Airbnb people doing, like, really good tours or activities or things like that, depending on where you're going. And we saw this, like, three to four hour hike afternoon. And it had, like, all this, like, rainforest mixed with mountains, like, mixed with all Ooh. these different things. And we're like, that sounds great. Quite expensive. Like... Mm -hmm. Uh, and and the Australian dollar to US dollar at the time was fucked, so it was just ended up being like, for this afternoon, something like two hundred dollars each, Australian mm. for, for teas. And I was like, fuck, this is really expensive. Hopefully it's good. But we didn't have a car. We're in Oahu. It was our like third, fourth day, um, and we were just like, yeah, let's just do it, so we don't have to worry about it. They they pick you up, drive you out there. It's whole afternoon, and the reviews were good, and then last minute you're in this group chat with the guy running and he goes I can't take you but I've got my one of my other guys that works for me he'll take you this afternoon I hope that's not a problem we're like no worries all good um, and we had to show up at like outside the zoo parking lot to meet there and then as soon as we got there this guy walks up to me and immediately you want to talk about bad vibes only immediately bad vibes so like, Dennis would have would have bared his teeth I, this guy. oh dude like <sighs> It, it was it was creepy <laughs> like it was but it, it took a while like i just we'd spend all this money we were just there this guy comes up hey you tyler i'm like yeah i am and teague's noticed and said to me afterwards i noticed immediately as soon as he showed up i almost and and looking back i should have i should have just said no and we're not going like honestly it was just like that sort of vibe yeah you, yeah. you even think that afterwards even though you um, didn't die? Um, look. No, because we didn't have a good experience on this hike. Right. Oh, shit. Like, it wasn't fun. And it, it took us like... So what was it about the, the guy? So... Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, so... He was just... He came up, he had a um, cap on, sunglasses. Um, looked obviously like very, very lean. Very, very lean. Like he does a lot of hiking and stuff. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and a lot of walking, a lot of outdoors, just super, super lean. Um, probably my height. Um, and the best way I can describe him, and and I said serial killer, but what I, who I actually meant was Jeffrey Dahmer. Now, if you've seen the Jeffrey Dahmer Netflix show, this guy spoke exactly the same. <coughs> Sounded like him, inflections exactly like him, creepy like him, just dead behind the eyes. Mm -hmm. um, and God. we get in, and like I just start talking try to get a vibe maybe it, it's, he's just I don't know maybe it's, he's just a little off and it's fine and he just has this shitty shitty car that we get in and I'm 
Teague's noticed because I'm just looking around the car. We're both in the backseat, but I'm just looking around the car, taking everything in. What's in the car, what he's got, trying to get a read on this guy. Because um, I just had immediately bad vibes. We're driving up to this hike. Can we get on there? And, you know, he's talking fine. He's asking good questions and, and, and nothing's off yet or anything. Um, and we go on, get on this walk and we start walking and he talks about... Um, and he's sort of talking about, I don't know, people, other people he's taken on hikes. And he's like, yeah, no, so we do this for, you know, people that um, don't, uh, maybe don't hike too often and are unfit. Like I had this morning, I had this uh, um, elderly um, Taiwanese couple and they, you know, struggled and blah, blah, took this much time. We're like, oh, okay. Um, obviously, we're pretty capable people that can go and we hike a lot and can, not a big deal for us. Um mm-hmm. So I'm walking through this rainforest and he's asking these questions, but the way this guy's talking, the vibe of this guy is so creepy. And anybody would just ask you a question, be like, so what's, um, what's the beaches like in Australia? And oh, I'd, be like, I'd be like, oh yeah, and you can on this whole, you have this whole have answer. <laughs> you have this whole, you have this whole, whole, you have this whole answer for him. And then he'll just sort of stop and he would stop and he'd turn around and he'd look at me and he'd just go, that's interesting. <laughs> and then he'd just keep walking and then he might think of another question and he just wouldn't answer many questions from me but he would just keep asking these questions and I yeah. was very tactical in certain answers I gave him and he's like yeah I do a lot of hiking do you do any like are you an outdoors person do you do a lot of sport and I said oh no not really I didn't want him to know anything like about yeah. me I didn't mm-hmm. you know I, I didn't want him to know I, yeah. I, I fought I didn't want him mm-hmm. to know I do any of that like I yeah. just wanted him to well, just in case you had to pummel his head in. Honestly, yeah, dead set. I wanted, yeah. I wanted, I wanted him. You didn't want him to be ready yeah. for you. Is yeah, because yeah, literally yeah. it was exactly that. I want him to think I'm easy target. You, 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 you like, adopted the explosive technique. Yeah, you were ready to go. Because you're ready to go sick the on whole, this guy. The whole time I was like, <laughs> I, I might have to fuck up this guy. Like that was my whole oh answer. Like I was anxious the whole hike. This whole like, and Teagues was behind me. I just always stood between Teagues and this guy. We both yeah. knew we, I, you know, you, you know, with your partner, you're both on the same page. We were on exactly yeah. without saying a word. We were on exactly the yeah. same page this mm-hmm. whole time. She knew what I was doing when I was answering certain questions, certain ways. And he would always, everyone that will pass is like these um, <coughs> people go, but like playing music. I just fucking American doing it. Obviously. Um, uh, this is like American family that was on speakerphones playing really loud music, walking past us. Amazing. Well, like, that, I suppose that is how they do things over there. Yeah, and I'm like, I, mean, I know you're on Hawaii, but that is still the US, isn't it? Yeah, I know. And it's like, seriously, you're in a beautiful like hiking spot, and just playing, blasting out music. This guy yeah, just turned, good. turns, kept turns to us, and he goes, "Are people like this in Australia? Do they do?" do they? I can't do the Jeffrey Dahmer voice, but like, <laughs> I can sort of well, do, do his what? pace. Are people what? like this in Australia? Do they yeah, do people what? Like this. Do, do they like play, play music. music while they're on hikes and stuff? I said no. Like I honestly, I've never seen that where people are just like being obnoxious in the middle of a forest, like walking through in a big group and, and just like think they're awesome. And he's just like, hmm. Well, that's that's very interesting. And then, <laughs> and then I walks tried. Off. I tried to, and then he would walk off. And he was just this just bad vibes all the time. And we got to the end uh, uh, to this waterfall. And we got there maybe like forty five minutes. And we just thought it was like one part of the hike. And he's like, all right, let me know when you want to turn around and we'll go back. And we're just like, what huh? the fuck? I it was just like four hours. And you paid 200 per person Dude, for a 45 minute and it was hike. Like, and it, you it, paid, was, it was, no, you it was probably like an hour and a half in total. Dude, it was all so you, so you paid 200 shit. Australian dollars or US? Yes, Australian, Australian dollars. So you paid 200 Australian dollars Each. to be picked up by Hawaii's own... Well, so that's 400 Australian dollars yeah. to be picked up by a Hawaiian serial murderer who is yet to be caught. <laughs> and go on, on a hike. I'm and when he you. realizes he can't take you, he gets impatient with you and he takes you to your destination. He's like, yeah, just let me know when you're ready to go back. Yeah, like, well, where are those, fucking where hell, I've, I, I have navigated your vetting technique and survived you. Can You can let me take it in. Yeah, I, we, were, we were literally just like at this waterfall sort of standing there, but we were just like not having a good time. You we were both like yeah. not, like couldn't have been worse. Like nothing, oh. what's great about a hike is you're out in nature and you're with good people. You need to be with like, we were sitting there trust. the whole time you're on a hike going, I don't want to be here. I don't yeah. want to be with this person. This oh, guy's so fucking awful. weird. 
and he was just creepy as fuck and i asked you want to know what i <laughs> and he you has see, all these like line drawings right on his like tattoos on his arms mm -hmm. and i go oh that's how oh, many so people what, he's killed so, honestly dude no but it was, it was like these circles and marks and shapes and i'm just like what what is all that uh and he goes that's the people oh that's cool. that's a map and i'm just like oh, oh really he goes he goes he goes well when i do this i'm uh, my full-time job is i make maps and then he sort of laughs he's like yeah yeah i make Why maps did he say in north carolina he so he's from north like north carolina makes maps right like yeah. draws maps on maps and i'm like oh that's good he's like but not cool maps isn't like there a this. word for no, that, no, that someone in that profession would know I don't, I don't know. I don't, Cartographer I don't know. Cartographer or something. Uh, yeah, but he goes, he's like, I do maps, but he's, but and he points to it, to the shoulder tattoo. But not cool maps like this. I draw maps for, like, city sewers and things. And I'm like, what? oh, what? no, he doesn't. I was so, he knows where to hide the bodies, is what he's saying. Like, that's exactly oh what he's God. doing. He's like, dead said, he's like, I don't do cool maps like this. I do maps for the city sewers. Oh my like god. <laughs> he's a lizard. I know where to hide That's all wild. of the bodies. And then and now it, he's just like living. So what's he out doing taking you on in, what was he doing he, taking you on a hike in Hawaii it, if he, in COVID he wanted to get away or something to Hawaii um and and hike there so he works remote as a as a sewer map creator and right. um and probably had to leave because of all the dead bodies and he was gonna see it in court. I don't know. <laughs> But all I know is, like, it was just, like, you're on edge for the hour and a half or almost two hour 45 that this yeah. drive and a hike took. And we got back. He drove us back. And I was I was on edge, wary, ready to go the whole time. I was, like, mm -hmm. prepared, watching him, yeah. looking at his, like, map. Every time he had maps on everywhere, it went, like, the area, like, because it had his, like, home marker on and i was like okay it's about there blah blah where do we need to get off on like when do i need to be on edge gets us back and he goes oh so what hotel are you staying at i'll just drop you straight there and i just said oh it's this one because i just knew another hotel that we passed um mm. nearby so i just so he didn't know where we were staying and all that and then we got out he left um you know and we just you know went on our way and i was just like that was awful and then t and i had a debrief but honestly we just felt like one you just were like that was terrible experience so yeah. so fucking awful yeah. and the second though was like we just spent that's 400 collective dollars we just yeah. fucking yeah, wasted that's that. fucked up. we felt like gross the whole rest of money yeah it was like maybe 2 2 30 in the afternoon wow. and we we like spent the whole day feeling like shit like yeah. I remember we went and watched the sunset we were on the beach and we were both like god we feel gross like we were gross mm -hmm. being around you just felt gross being around this guy gross mm -hmm. spending that money gross experienced it was the only bad day we had on the trip every other day was great yeah. and all the other activities we did were cheaper and significantly better mm -hmm. um, yeah. like it was ridiculous but like this this, this creepy just the voice exactly like you watch that Jeffrey Dahmer show it's the same tone of voice same pacing of, of of speaking same that monotone dead behind the eyes because he wore sunnies the whole time he only took his interesting sunnies to him, dead dead behind him completely dead behind behind the eyes oh god like, creep first class first Fuck. ballot freak and um i was positive i was like this guy's not good this guy's horrific news mm -hmm. sewer maps brother Sewer maps? Are you kidding me? <laughs> is that his hobby? No, it's his job. It's, how do you That's get into that line of work? Well, I don't know. You want to <laughs> I, know how to hide the bodies. You've become very good at drawing maps, where you, you and you also get very familiar with the sewers, probably in your own time. Yeah. That requires you become, you become quite the a rat specific man. hobby. <laughs> Honestly, just, just he likes the rats. Man. Just afraid. He's a little he, rat boy. Well, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure he meant no harm. I don't no, agree. Well, with I, hope, I actually don't. I hope not. It. I think he did. I believe it. Why do you think? Stop. I hope he was just. He uh... I just think. I just think there's certain behavior. Like obviously, every person that does things like this, like if there was a an actual serial killer, they don't just kill every person they meet and see. They pick. They pick the right person that would suit them. So all you, all I felt like we had to do was, don't play victim. You sort of play along with them on some level in terms of conversation flow you know mm -hmm. and you just you just are always aware and when you're always aware you avoid making certain i don't know mistakes but i mean the first mistake is we went along 
and I, I just mm-hmm. feel like I think the only thing I was annoyed me annoyed me was that I should have just not gone. I should have just trusted the instinct immediately. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. rather than r- go along, and I think that was the lesson learned because I'm sure every he was creepy, but he never got creepier. Like nothing ha- other than the map scene that was fucking weird. But like he never <laughs> did anything that escalated my edginess more than it was at the start. If that makes sense, like it was just mm-hmm. creepy and it stayed that level. He didn't yeah. do something, and I'm like, oh shit, something's gonna happen. He was just like fully fucking weird. He's just an odd uh, guy. I hope he was just. I hope he was just socially subnormal, and that was that was what it was, and not yeah, that he's maybe. a terrible, terrible man. I mean, that's that's yeah. that's oh, where the God. chances lie, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah. That's interesting. I worry too much and about it's just it. Like, that's oh. interesting. Just, just a, that's interesting. Heavy breathing. Yeah. And I like that show, <laughs> yeah. but I can't watch it now because I just feel like I've met the guy. You know. It's yeah. Just, just, yeah. It's not good stuff. It's not good stuff. Um, I suppose it. But anyway. <laughs> almost a funnier story if it was just you as well but i suppose because your girlfriend was there you were also like damn this made is me like... more on edge and then i felt more yeah. guilty about it as well you know yeah, like yeah, for being that position yeah. but obviously nothing happened and we we're all fine but like geez, true true was like that was just it, yeah bad vibes only um, yeah there are moments sure. like bad that. vibes only yeah. and you're abroad and you're like god this is it was a wee bit this dodgy is fucked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's one of the, the more lackluster experiences I've had overseas, but anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, and you've yeah. been to Northampton, so that's a fucking deal. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've, I've been to the fucking <laughs> lift tower, you know? Exactly, um, mate. <laughs> see, I did a better tour, you know? <laughs> you, did, you did a way better tour. Uh, <laughs> At least there's no serial killer in Northampton, you'd hope. You, oh, you're, you're, probably you're, tons. You're, I'm sure yeah, totally, totally you're been. totally right. Now, there we have more... Why would you even say that? We have more paedophiles uh, in Northampton. Oh, God. That's yeah, but I reckon there's a few, George. <laughs> I reckon there's a few. Uh, probably. Yeah, true. Oh, also, God. didn't you have a clown running oh, around damn. a few years back? We did, we mm-hmm. did, yeah. What? Yeah. Cl- it was like 2016, was it? Do you remember was the whole... That? Yeah, Tyler, do you remember the whole clown thing going across? Oh, like, it. it was all over the world. What? Yeah. No, well, no, no, it was 2016 where people were dressing up as clowns and like, yeah, but wasn't that when it, it was stuff. coming out and it was sort of like promotion? It for might the movie? have been. No, no, no it, it was wasn't people being weird. For the movie. It was random. Yeah, yeah, people like, searching. clowns would like clown. photobomb people. But yeah, it started in Northampton in, in England. There's like a yeah, picture of this like dim it? street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mental. 2013, it was 2013, that's when it was. Huh? So that was before reaches. the clown thing. That was before the the clown craze. And right. Yeah. It Unless was just, it was a yeah, Northampton it was clown. A slow burn. Yeah, I remember this. Yeah. You, he he would just show up in random places. It's like photo. They call him Dave. They picture him, post it on Facebook. Um, well, to be fair, that's one way to become a local like... cryptid, I suppose. In yeah. fact, I want to look into this a bit, actually. Hang on. So not funny. Creepy clown scares locals. This was September 2013. Um, an unnerving anonymous clown has sent shivers down the spines of Northampton residents by lingering on street corners in fancy dress for three nights in a row. And this man was busy. And it wasn't even Halloween. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it reportedly first appeared fr- on Friday 13th and was spotted again on Saturday under the cloak of darkness on Cedar Road in the northeast of the city. With its white face, drawn on brows, a red wig and ruffled collar, it is a carbon copy of the Pennywise clown from Stephen King-inspired 1990 horror film, It. Yeah. The scary apparition-like sight has also been seen standing on a pavement, waving with a teddy hanging between its fingers. And it's, uh, uh, what? This guy, this guy must just think, you know what would be really funny? Some, there's somebody out there who did that, and he's like, yeah, this is, this, this is jokes. Yeah. Maybe he's an interview it must be some with guy him. doing a prank, but it was it's weird. More of a, I remember it's... it at the time. It was weird. It's it's weird how clowns set people off. I mean, I understand I, why. I hate right? clowns. I don't fucking. Yeah, I despise I so clowns with a passion myself. Yeah. Well, I look at clowns and I go, I'm so glad they're not really. You don't really see them that much because I would punch them. Yeah, I can't. No, I can't I, help myself. Yeah. A clown needs to get hurt. Every time I see a picture of Ronald McDonald, I think, Jesus, what in the analog horror? But, Jesus Christ, look at this guy. He's fucked. He's just yeah, running he's around Northampton. What, North did, what ended up going... happening to him? Nothing. No one knows. He was probably, he was probably killed by another clown. He just they, stopped showing up There's an entire mafia in that underworld. I think the joke was up and he was like, fuck it, I'm done. So just, can't, wait, here's, here's, a, here's an article here. 
Just Harmless Fun, The Creepy Clown of Northampton Speaks Out. This was written in 2013. Um, in an exclusive interview, oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's not harmless fun if you've got a, if you've got an aura of foreboding because There's you're dressed up as a clown. Now the now world famous Northampton clown told the Chron- Northampton Chronicle and Echo that his appearances around the town were a bit of harmless fun. The clown who remains anonymous has drawn worldwide attention and has attracted more than 124,000 likes on Facebook despite facing accusations that his act leaves onlookers feeling frightened. He told the newspaper that he just wanted to amuse people. Most people enjoy a bit of freaked out. Wait, what? Most people enjoy a bit of freaked out and then they can laugh about it afterwards, he I've... said. It's like watching horror movie. When people get scared, they usually start laughing. I don't know why he's northern. Um, the clown. <laughs> it was kind of bears... like a Batman. <laughs> he should thing sound exactly the... like well, it. the clown turn up <laughs> yeah. next. Yeah, yeah true. Oh my true. God, I don't need to tower. do an impression. I, there's a photo of him at the lift tower. Oh, is oh my god, that's, that's iconic. Great. That's so iconic. Oh god. That is so iconic. After some social networking users took against took against his appearances and others threatened violence and falsely claimed that the clown was carrying a knife, he wrote on his Facebook page, Too much hate, not enough love. No, I don't have a knife on me. That's just stupid rumours spread by stupid people. <laughs> I'm imagining him like <laughs> typing this out while he's wearing his clown. Outfit. It is a safe assumption <laughs> yeah, when he's dressed, dressed up as a murderous up. clown, though, that you might have a shank. Oh, oh god, man. that's oh. so funny. I'm also not on Twitter as it confuses the heck out of me. However, I might go for a jog around that pond in Abington Park later, as I'm really unfit. <laughs> See you around, beep beep. <laughs> oh, god. oh man, that's, that's so. It's honestly so funny that he's from Northampton. That's really yeah, that's even hilarious. That, that that does very funny. Funny. It went from being weird and creepy to funny as soon as you said it. That he was <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. so good. Yeah. Oh, god. Just um, the idea of of this of this of this guy. Getting a bad yeah, he's probably a wholesome bloke, actually. He probably is a wholesome yeah. guy. Just, he doesn't like mean him. any harm. He's just getting about looking a bit looking a bit unsettling. He's just cutting about getting on jazz like lounge. Yeah. yeah, that's great. I've put out the call. Jazz lounge. The call. With the North yeah, Hampton. Oh, he's yeah. anonymous still, though. I don't think we know his identity. You're gonna have to put out like a public notice in like the town centre or something like that. Yeah, hang on. Let, uh, me, for see, an let me see. Yeah. yeah, hold a big sign. Yeah, let me, mate. let me have a look. If you're the clown, for a job around the pond in Abington Park. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, okay. Apparently, his name is Alex Powell. Oh right. Oh. So we we have his identity. That was not hard to find. Right. Let's dox him. Find him. Let's <laughs> dox him. <laughs> yeah, Alex Powell. Yeah. Wow. We know who he is. We know him. We need to find him and be just like, hey, looks do you like want to a call guy. Him? Well, I'm just an ordinary bloke. That's sort of how it, yeah. Turns out he doesn't dress up as a clown for his daily life. I'm disappointed. Oh my god, he looks Damn. horrific. But what? <laughs> No, 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 not his face. The bloke or the <laughs> no, no, clown? Not, not his face in real life. The clown, the clown mask. Uh, <laughs> <he's wearing. laughs> Can you imagine? Yeah, the I thought you saw the picture of him in real life. <clears throat> he looks horrific. The, yeah, the clown mask is an improvement. Jesus Christ, yeah, put it back yeah, on. Yeah, Jesus, bro. Put yeah, the clown mask the back on, and we'll be yeah. less frightened. Yeah. No, that's not um, nice. George, Amazing. do you have um? Do you have some recommended, recommended for us to, to finish us off? To finish yes, us I off. Yes, I do. It's a it's a five videos. They're all pretty damn short though. So we'll, we'll we love short. Blam through them. Yeah. I learned after that time. I had loads of long videos. Yeah, yeah. If I can find Skype. Yeah, we hate on my phone. <laughs> Sometimes me. less is more, you know. That's very true. Exactly. That's the way I feel about this. I love oh, it. I, I love it more than anyone. I, I love it more than James and Ethan. I love it more than the audience. It's just. This is just. This is just for Tyler's own personal <laughs> satisfaction. Yeah, I just like to know. I just find George so fascinating. <laughs> He's just one of my favorite. <laughs> Never to be offended just, by George this. I love you so not. much. You're just such Thank a you. yeah, such a beautiful too. man. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Maybe you two should go to Venice next time. <laughs> Bro, I, do you know what it was? Do you know what shocked me? Let's do it, I was man. like, if that was on the... I didn't know you going with a mate was on the menu. You know? I don't know it is, man. Jealous, it is. You can go to Paris, the city yeah. of love. Oh, no, fuck that, actually. Fuck that yeah. piece London of love and, and, and Paris right now. Oh, London love. Oh, London love. Holy shit. Holy shit. London love. What's London love? What is that? That's, that's Victoria Atkins' book. 
<laughs> then we yeah. interviewed her and then we said, well, we'll, we'll meet London, we'll have fun in love. And oh, that was funny. That's a dumb, dumb oh, name. Oh, she Terrible loved name. you guys. She I'm loved just, you guys. I'm just opening all of these. Yeah. Um, George, what did you send them? They were loaded too quickly, so I just got a clusterfuck of audio. Oh, God. Yeah, me too. This is a very yeah. ocean. <laughs> this is a very ocean-based one, but I suppose they always are. Really, I get so many videos you in my recommended ocean, ocean, you ocean, you like, ocean you, stuff. You are a man of the sea, aren't you, George? You, I, like, I, going, I you like going to the sea. I'm you terrified like observing of it. it. I do like observing. Oh, that's the third oh, one. Oh, like using sorry. my um, Subnautica video. Uh, can I tell you? Oh, that's the. Su- I might have told you, James, but on um, because. Tease and I, we, we've done She Loves the Ocean. Loves oh, the yeah. Remember why we did Turtle Swim? We swam with manta rays at night, like these fucking oh. things. Like, we love it. So, for her birthday, I got her. We're going to swim with whales, humpback whales, in September. Oh. That's terrifying. I hate that. Sounds that. crazy. And I just thought of, I just thought of how much James you would hate it. And don't get me wrong, like, I'm a little like, fuck that. It's pretty hectic. Like, I've been in the ocean with some big things, and it's not open water that freaks me out, but. It is pretty mm-hmm. hectic when you're in the ocean and you are with those animals. Like, mm-hmm. there's just this sense of like, holy shit, I don't belong here at all. Yeah. Uh, that's wild. That sounds so yeah. cool, though. I'm excited. I like, it's slightly scary, but, you know, the, the, the fear is outweighed. If yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. By the wonder. Yeah. Um, sorry, sorry. By the no, splendor. Um, Let's um. We can right, get I'll read it. out, read out the list of videos we have. Okay. So one of them's not much like the others. <laughs> it's gonna stand out quite a lot. We have eye to eye with sperm whale, Beirut port explosion, escaping death by mere seconds, Southern Ocean <laughs> yeah, storm. Yeah, that wouldn't stand. It. That that is, that that is arguably gonna stand out. <laughs> yeah, well, it's a port still, though I guess. So, I mean, it's yeah, four it's videos true. about the sea and one about a port exploding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so Southern Ocean first? Storm, Great White Shark Encounter, and St Clair River Dive under freighter. That one's for James. The real deal. Um, you know what? Yeah, we should. Looks, you, know, awful. You, you know what? We should do this thing where we try to piece together the story that connects <laughs> these videos and George's <laughs> psyche. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's do it. Let's, let's start and in, in, in this order. George, what's first? Uh, eye to eye with sperm whale. Okay. Very okay. wholesome. Very cute. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one, play. That is a big sperm see whale. See how, how big boy. it is. It would just be you're in the ocean. You see this giant it's fucking thing. Huge. I oh, know. Look at it. It's a big boy. It does all it its clicky noises sperm, as well. Oh, I was making some noises. Oh, I love yeah. that. Yeah. That's oh cool. It is though. That Holy is shit. awesome. It's like in Abzu when you swim with the whale. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. wow. It's like staring. What a it's sperm. Like, hey, what's up? It's got like loads of battle wounds and stuff. Look at it. Dude, if yeah. that thing wanted to kill you, it could do it really, it doesn't. really quickly. It loves us. Oh. Whales like us. I know. Whales I are nice blokes. I mean, they don't love us when we harpoon them. Yeah, yeah. We, we, stopped. we don't, don't harpoon that. them, do we? We stopped in the UK well, as well. I do. Personally. No. I go out there with many harpoons and I just throw them at whales. I don't intend to kill them. I just like yeah, Edward yeah. Kenway. Edward Kenway. Fuck sake, I was just about to oh, say that. Jesus Christ, another reference. Well, how, many, how many is that? We need like an Assassin's Creed reference counter this episode. <laughs> what, like in the corner? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the yeah, corner. yeah, yeah. We're at least, a, we're almost at 10, surely. <laughs> might as well Gotta forget, might that. as well fuck off the Four Pillars logo and put it in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fucking whale sounds like a clicker. I know. It does. Yeah, that would, that is, more how crazy is it? Just be, See, that's what I'm excited and freaked out about. Just to be in the ocean, you see this giant fucking thing. Oh my god, face to face with him. I oh hate no. that. I hate it's that so much. Cool. That's oh so my cool. god. I think that's so cool. How I can't even tell which way that? up is. <laughs> Dude, I'd be, try, how, I'd be swimming down vast, trying to get to the surface. Look how vast the ocean is. Look how vast oh, that fucking no, ocean I, is. No, I won't. No, I won't. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> look, look at it. There's no end. It's just endless it's ocean. It's disappearing. Oh, God. Yeah. Look at no, it. No. Off it goes. No. Off it goes. Wow. What a beauty. Oh, that's, goodness. That, that's cool. Oh, that my goes. God. And I've just got a fucking re- recommended video. <laughs> the Giants of the Abyss. No, <laughs> it's just like seven yeah, giant sperm whales. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got that's that recommended right. too. Oh, that's awesome. The Giants of the Abyss. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. Oh, God. Um, cool video. So, 
so um, off in the bay, we've got these these <laughs> people that were watching this person swimming in the distance. Um, that's yeah, what they're looking at, right? That's the, the storyline. That's the connection. That is, yeah, of yeah, course, yeah. of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah. They were watching the whale off yeah. the coast. Yeah, they're watching the, the whale off the coast. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Okay. Let's go then. So this is the Bay Beirut Port, Port explosion. explosion. <laughs> yeah. Three, two, one, play. This one's mental. Oh, they see something. Oh my they're God. like, what the fuck, guys? They're running off. Huge brain to oh not just God. stand and stare. That's a clever idea. Oh, Where's the explosion? Okay. I think it's, it's coming. Is it not... It's coming. Yeah, it's happened. It's happened. No. It's, no. it's a cut. What? That's, <gasps> that's the... Oh! oh! Jeez. Oh, yeah. This Holy is, this shit. is that explosion. Oh, how did yeah. I not piece together that it was that that yeah. explosion? Oh, yeah, that, that that was oh, pretty shit. big Guys, on social my, media a few years ago. My, my capture, my web, my uh, recording just crashed. Oh fuck! Oh no! The I'm software's just kill frozen. Myself. Oh no! Oh god! What this means it corrupts. No. Oh no! I'm really fucking frightened. Hang on. Um, oh shit! What should Don't I do? Close the software yet? Okay. Give I've it. left it. It says not responding, and it's gone not white. It's oh, gone no. white. Yeah. yeah. Finally. Just wait, just wait it out. Oh, just wait it out. Just wait it out. Wait it out. Wait it out. Wait it out. Wait it's out. probably the best thing. <laughs> it stopped recording at no. one hour, 40 minutes, and 54 seconds. So, not that long. Okay. okay. No, not that That's long. where we were, yeah. Oh, we just, as long as right. we have it. As long as we have it. Oh, God. I'm, I don't... I think it's... It's... It, no, it's no, just no, not loading. Just, the egg time is just going round. Just wait. <laughs> okay. We're back. Holy, Holy fuck me dead, we're James. so I back. Hate um, oh my god probably the first time you can see james which is just epic and awesome um oh, man. okay let's go back to george right, recommended and wrap this fucking podcast so up. we just, ro- just watched violent up. beirut e- port explosion great fun we did uh, it was good fun it was awesome now we have southern ocean storm wow southern ocean storm. Scary i think storm. i've seen this i think i've seen this. i've seen reckon... this video before but it had pirates of the caribbean music so it I wasn't reckon, particularly yeah. frightening yeah. i reckon you've it, it's, it's, it's all about the soundtrack before. that's that's it how is. You, that, that is how important music is to a video yeah. we could do if you've got our own upbeat soundtrack. music you could literally have a massacre going on and you'd laugh. <laughs> oh, but if you had somber music and a massacre going on you'd feel every single moment <laughs> <laughs> that's that's why tonal tonal consistency is so important. You've got like euro oh, beats in the background, and then there's like yeah, someone dying. Um, right, <clears throat> uh, you guys ready? Southern Ocean Storm. Yep, I am ready. Three, let's do it. Two, one, play. Here we this go. This is a cool one. I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure you've probably I'm all seen shaking. this video before, actually. Like it just looks so fucking hectic. Oh my god. It's crazy. Oh Imagine my god. Into that. that big ocean building up. Ooh. Ooh. The, oh. That's horrendous. Oh my god. God. Oh, that's horrid. But Rogue Wave. Put Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, the guy at the. Get uh, me out. As I say, Southern Ocean, my neck of the woods. It's it's, they're Australians. You can oh, hear are them. they? Yeah. Oh, amazing. You just hear a guy, <laughs> an Aussie guy going, yeah, I looked away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't look. That yeah, was I'm, horrible. Yeah, oh, I looked my away God. Oh, my God. Fuck that. Absolutely amazing. Right. So that was after the explosion happened. That was what the ocean was like. <laughs> yeah. You know. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there was a whale. The whale's clearly dead from the explosion. The whale blew up. <laughs> the whale has- oh, and that was... And we saw the reaction from the whale explosion on land, and that was it at sea. <laughs> the whale explosion. The nearest yeah. whale farted, yeah. and that happened. Yeah, that's yeah. the connecting tissue here. Um, <laughs> the the kinetic it's, energy. It's, a, it's a, the George recommended universe. <laughs> the yeah. GRCU. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, so Go GoPro Awards, Great White Shark Yana. Holy fuck. This one's fucking scary, man. Okay. Right. I like Three. how GoPro actively away. encourages putting you in dangerous situations. Yeah, it gets you 10 million GoPro views. GoPro Awards. <laughs> That's funny. This yeah. man encountered a great white shark. What have you wow. done with a GoPro in your life? You know it's good <laughs> if it's on the GoPro channel. Yeah, and has ten million views. Often go to, to be fair, for cool yeah. epic videos. Right, okay. three, right. two, 
One play. Ooh, dramatic oh, dramatic intro. Bro. Here we go. A bit of credit there, Richard Leonard. I know. Oh, so he's about to go. He's about to go for so a swim so, with his half. Oh, South Africa. Oh, yeah. So a lot of great white sharks in this. Yeah. Uh, spear but fishing he's got his harpoon gun is it off the coast of south africa spear fishing yeah that's not going to do dick to a great white shark <laughs> yeah he's not after a great is... white he's just after something else and he encounters he's after what death. and it just sort of shows up it's like sapping so he's gone down he's oh, gone down this already. to go spear fishing oh, 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 oh shit oh shit wow. i jumped oh wow oh my god <laughs> Oh my god. He's, it's the fact that it disappears out not very Listen much to the guy, listen to the no. guy too. Listen to the guy too, he's swimming away. Oh my god. Oh my god. If that shark wanted him. Oh no. no. Yeah, he'd already be dead. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Jesus. <laughs> oh, he's Jeez. No way this is Imagine real. It comes looks down and it's there. No fucking way! Oh, oh he nearly ate it. Oh, that's a bit of an that's a bit of an over. Oh, you can't help but understand shit. why you come oh to that conclusion. Oh. But I'd imagine what, if a great what do you white mean? Shark wanted what? to eat you, it would be immediate. You overreaction? Is he a great white shark? What the fuck no, do you it's mean? No, the end. He went. He nearly ate me. I don't think the great white shark oh. was trying to eat him at all. It was oh, coming God. for him. It was following him. Oh up to the my surface. God! It did follow him. In it the did. Um, vicinity. No, but no, I, no, bro. If it came up again, like, because it was down low, on the on the bottom of the ocean, on the bottom of the water there. And then he left, but he did the wrong thing as well. It's like swimming and rushing away just from the shark draws the shark in. Yeah, it triggers just, its predatory just instinct, doesn't it? Cut the shark, you will be fine. It's true, true. Anyway. That, that, yeah, oh, give it a big gosh. punch in the head. That was <laughs> fucking. I jumped. I physically jumped at that. That was fucking. Yeah, horrifying. no, that was honestly that that is terrifying. I never want to be in that man's position. I understand his reaction. That was a good when one. When it was gosh. head on, really head one. on coming at him, and he had that rock wall to his yeah. back. Oh. Oof. Jeez, right. Oh, I, I... That was a freaky one. Here's another pretty. It's, it's scary to me and probably James, but I mean, I don't know how you guys will feel about it. This last one St. Clair River this. Dive Under Freighter. I may have actually put this on recommended before, like ages ago. I don't think so because I, I mean, don't recognize Not that I was present for half of them, but I don't <laughs> <Yeah>. remember it. <laughs> it might have been the week you, you, you were sleeping. <laughs> Maybe I was asleep. Maybe I was sleeping like a wee baby, having a great yeah. time. Yeah. While you were watching terrifying videos sometimes, George, I was kip. I don't yeah, you were having a more part. relaxing time, honestly. I'm jealous. I was, I, was having, I was having dreams about, you know, more relaxed things than you're recommended, like landmines and things like that. God, I, I, imagine had, a far I put a landmine... Oh, wait, no, you were, did say you were dreaming about landmines. <laughs> I, I, I randomly I randomly said once, I keep dreaming about the landmines, because Why? it sounded just random enough for me. I too, I also do that, actually. Last night, I actually ate a landmine and forgot about it, so that was, that was crazy. <laughs> So you ate right. it. Where's the landmine, uh, George? Oh, uh, it's in the belly. It's gonna come I'm, out. Imagine, don't strike his belly too hard, gentlemen. <laughs> Things will go wrong. Belly full of landmines. There was a George Jesus there. Christ. There is now his legs. <laughs> God. Oh fuck. All right, let's get this right, fucking video. Last video. Let's do it. Okay. <laughs> you guys ready? Yeah, mate. Yep. Yes. Three, two, one, play. This is an absolute oh, madman. Yeah. I hate it already. For some reason, diving in a river where he knows there's ships, like ships traveling through Oh, it's just a river. It. That's not That's not as creepy. It, oh, it is a river. Shit. How big is the river? But deep enough that large freighters can go through it. Oh my god. What the fuck? Why has bro got the camera on his hand? What what the the where would you put it? Hand I hate this camera work. This is awful. Yeah, this is horrendous. Yeah, it's, I can't it's, even it's see what's going on. It's designed, what's... To make, it's designed to make his life easier, and here he is. It's okay. I can't... The, the what's not... even happening? The Put ship's not going head, over buddy. him yet. Here we go, here we go. So a is going over the top. Oh! <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't even oh, look. This is James's nightmare. Look. This is James's <laughs> actual dude. nightmare. To be honest, there are, oh. there are irrational fears, and then there are ones that are just perfectly rational. To me, that is rational. Oh, that's terrible. You do, that you is don't James's be in this man's actual nightmare. Oh, God, I hated that. I hated every second oh. of that. Fucking hell. 
Bro's doing that for fun, though. The sound of it, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, that oh, camera work fuck. was horrific, though. That camera was work was absolutely t- horrible. But he got himself all set up and he was all right. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, horrible. I've got a Grammarly advertisement. Oh, That's my nice. God. Whew. Excellent. Well, wow. Oh. You, your recommended is off, awfully ocean-based most of the time. It is. My recommended is full of o- ocean-related stuff, like on you, the homepage. You, you, do you actively watch these videos before you uh, bring them in? Yes, I, I normally do watch them just to check if they're interesting enough to put it in. Yeah, there. to put it in. Because yeah, yeah. sometimes I'll click on a video, think, "Oh, that looks cool," and it's actually shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <I> mean, <coughs> you, you, oh. you do have a thing for for, for indulging in your own fears, I suppose. Yeah. I do. To be fair, yeah, I do love it. Jesus, I love yeah. thalassophobia it, videos. It's 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 why it's why you watch horror movies. You sometimes exactly. just want to, you know, you you like that thrill. I get well, it. I it's can't stupid. stand horror movies. Oh, I like I like implied shit. horror more than actual outright horror. Depends. I, I, Depends I, if it's executed, I just like a bit of excitement, you know? Just to get the heart pumping. Heart I, like, I like excitement. What I don't like is heart failure. Yeah. I get, I mean, look, I get it. Yeah. It's not for everyone. A horror movie that relies too much on like jump scares and stuff kind of sucks too. Yeah. Um, I like I like implied horror. Implied horror is my favorite kind. Like this this feeling rather than anything. Like, the, like this happening. what this podcast has become. Um, yeah, this is this is this is, uh, this is implied horror. Yeah, no, this, this is, is overt yeah. horror. Yeah. <laughs> this, is, this, this is this is the George, bad vibes only George, podcast. The George <laughs> sense in some form. Like like, for, if it wasn't what? from everything we talked about, but all of the recommended was just bad vibes. James almost destroyed the podcast. Bad vibes, just yeah. bad vibes only. Exactly, exactly. Bad vibes. Yeah. It's the... so hot in here. Oh this is God. the okay. bad vibes only. Okay, podcast. right. Everyone, like, thank you for tuning thanks. into another reunion episode of the Four Pillars Podcast. We made it somehow work. Hopefully, you're listening to this in its full form on some level, way, shape, or form. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Enjoy the rest of the week of content with Clubhouse over on the Patreon. The as always podcast 10 year anniversary coming stay tuned we've got a we've got a four pillars vlog coming out we've got um another surprise there's stuff coming enjoy the week thank you for all the support thank you for 10 years we love you and uh we'll see you throughout the week with more fun content thank you um any boys do you have any last words before we say goodbye uh, t- stay nothing out is the true suit, and everything is permitted Shut up, James. Ten. that's 10 <laughs> that's got to be a 10 at least thank you everyone and we'll see you next time Goodbye. Yeah, see you soon, guys. Take Bye. care, everyone. Bye.